Thank you, Mark. Yes, I hope you're able to enjoy all of this with us, whether it's finished in 90 minutes, whether we need extra time, whether we need penalties. But it's been quite a week, hasn't it? This is the second all-English European final of the week. Unprecedented that one country should provide all four teams in the two major finals. And the Tottenham and Liverpool players having conducted the handshakes are now posing for the team pictures. And it's actually more than the team pictures, Chris. They've actually both called all of the squad members, all 23 named for photographs. Yeah, and I saw um, Richard Pochettino talk about that, the togetherness. You know, they're, they're, a, they're a squad as a whole, a team as a whole. And that, that's good to see. Sums up both managers, that. And they break away now. Liverpool to the right, Tottenham to the left. Liverpool in the all red kit and Tottenham are all in white, apart from that blue band around the bottom of the shirts, around their waist. And the players go around and just give one another a final word, a little hug and prepare for kickoff. The referee, who is the highly experienced Damia Scamina, it's actually something of a surprise that he hasn't refereed a Champions League final before now, but this completes the set for him. World Cups, European Championships, all of the major European finals, one of the, the top referees around. And he's walking towards the centre circle now. Let me just run you through the teams again before kick-off. Tottenham, Loris in goal, Trippier, Alderweireld, Fertongen and Rose, Sissoko and Winks, Eriksen, Ali, Son and Harry Kane. So both Kane and Winks start the match having not played since April the 9th. And Liverpool with Alisson, Alexander-Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk and Robertson, Fabinho, Henderson and Wijnaldum, Salah, Firmino and Mane. The final will be underway shortly. But first, as Mark Pugac mentioned, the players are gathering around the centre circle and we will have a moment to remember Jose Antonio Reyes, the shocking news that we heard this morning that the former Arsenal man has been killed in a car crash at the age of 35. But he was an Atletico Madrid player and actually outside the stadium they have plaques on the ground to honour all of the great players who played for Atletico Madrid at their old stadium. And there is one out there on the concourse with his name on it. And now the applause around the stadium to remember Jose Antonio Reyes. Yeah, shocking news. I was reading on the BBC Sport website, he only married again in 2017. He's got three young children and he would have been playing, would have been due to play tomorrow for Extra Madura in the second division. So sad. Right, we are set for kickoff now, the 2019 Champions League final. The Champions League final between two clubs that haven't been champions of England for many a year, many a decade. But tonight, either Tottenham or Liverpool will be kings of Europe. The sky is blue, the Spanish sun is shining down on the Metropolitano here on the northeast fringe of the city of the Spanish capital. And it is Liverpool that get us underway with the captain, Jordan Henderson, who plays the ball back into central defence to uh, Matip, who strikes it downfield. Liverpool are playing from right to left in the first half. You're listening to us on BBC Radio 5 Live, but the World Service are with us as well. As Henderson plays the ball over the top to Sadio Mane on the edge of the area. Mane into the box, crosses it, it strikes the arms of Sissoko, it's a penalty! Referee Scamina has pointed to the spot, it's a handball! It struck the outstretched arm of Sissoko with less than 30 seconds on the clock. Liverpool have a penalty, Chris Sutton. Well... That's an unbelievable call from the referee. Mane kicks the ball against, I think it hits Sissoko's chest at first. 
His arm is out, it hits his arm, but that is soft. He can't give that. This oh. will be reviewed by VAR. Sean Dyche, the Burnley manager, is here as well. I don't think he can give that. That is so early in the game, it's hit him on his chest. I bet he does give it. His chest. Oh, no, I think he will, but it's hit him on his chest, hit him on the arm. This is the referee who gave the penalty yeah. to Manchester United oh, right. in the dying stages at, uh, at the Parc de Prince. The check is all that. It's a penalty. And Salah oh. is ready to take it. We're in the second minute now, and referee Scamina has actually walked right across to the goal line to talk to Hugo Lloris, who's standing behind the line. Say so three penalties, I think. He saved his last three penalties that have been taken against him, the French goalkeeper and Tottenham captain. But this is Mohamed Salah, who had to go off early in the Champions League final one year ago in Kiev. Here, in the second minute, he's going to take a penalty left-footed and score! Lloris dives to his left but couldn't stop it. It was struck with too much pace by Mohamed Salah. And Liverpool are in front with two minutes on the clock. A controversial penalty award. Controversial as it was. Did we expect anything else? Magnificent Mo Salah. Starts with a straight run, a couple of steps to his right. And then he hammers the ball. Down the middle of the goal, Lloris goes early, and Liverpool take the lead. I think the challenge the referee's got, you know, is that his arm is in a strange position, but it does hit his chest first. I mean, I've got to say, I don't know what his arm's up there for, but it does hit the corner, of his chest, the edge of his chest, sorry, and then goes in, but what a finish. I mean, fantastic execution with his laces, power, pace, bravery to go more or less down the middle. You know, it takes a brave kick to stand still. Lloris went the right way, diving to his left. It actually went above his head, just above his head, by probably a couple of feet, but it was just struck too powerfully. And it's Tottenham nil, Liverpool won in the Champions League final. Yeah, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, stroked it in a beautifully, confident penalty. So important now to stay calm, I think. So important. Not easy, by the way, but Tottenham stay calm now. Does the game open up? Do Liverpool go to KG? Do they open the game up and go for it? It's going to be interesting. Well, there's no rushes that for Tottenham. You know, we talked about them being behind in this competition. They've come back all season, you know, against all odds. A goal down in two minutes shouldn't worry this Tottenham team. Tottenham nil, Liverpool won. If you miss kickoff, you've missed the opening goal. A handball given against Sissoko. Mane was on the left side of the penalty area, near the edge of the box. Just looked to, to play it across, and Sissoko's arm was outstretched, and it hit him just right at the top of his right arm. The one thing you would say is why is Sissoko got his arm up in that position? No, I agree, it's an unnatural position. I think that's got him in trouble, actually, um, because it does hit his chest first, but it is a strange position to have your arm in, and nowadays you have to say, what is your arm doing up there? The penalty was awarded after 23 seconds of the Champions League final. Look at Liverpool now on the press, really on the press front foot, look at the body language, you're shifting it, you know, really try and stamp their authority after the back, on the back of that goal. But as Sean Dyche and Chris Sutton are rightly saying, Tottenham have been here before in this situation. They've never been here before, though, in the Champions League final. The first time they have ever been in this position in the final of Europe's Premier Club competition. And within two minutes, they're 1-0 down. Here's Deli Ali though, on the corner of the penalty area, into Son inside the park, and then in comes the challenge from Henderson, just to toe poke it behind for a corner, I suppose. Yeah, it's a good run from Ali. Trying to get in on the diagonal, in behind Alexander-Arnold, actually hits Alexander-Arnold in the backside, and he prods the ball to Son, and Henderson was alert and poked the ball behind. And Tottenham gets an opportunity from a corner. Corner to be taken from the left, the end to our right, three tiers, four if you include the hospitality tier, is completely red. It's where the Liverpool fans are, they are jubilant. But Tottenham with the set piece. Harry Kane on the edge of the six-yard box, Deli Ali just in front of him. Here's the delivery curling towards the back post. The target was for Tongan, but it was headed away by Van Dijk. And now Sissoko is able to take the ball down and play it all the way back into his own half. That's been one of the big differences set-piece-wise for Liverpool again, uh, uh, defensively. Van Dijk's like a magnet in there. When the ball goes in there, he's like a magnet to that ball. He heads everything. Tottenham nil, Liverpool one. BBC Radio 5 Live, the World Service... Listeners on BBC London and Radio Merseyside are with us as well. So welcome to you all. 
Fabinho playing it through the middle now to Sadio Mane who turns and moves to his right Henderson is there, little touch from him now back to Mane who just rolls his left foot over the ball then gives it into Salah on the edge of the box uh, heavy touch there from Son on the edge of his own area and then it's sliced out of play on the far side for a throw into Liverpool yeah, that Liverpool attack all came from a really sloppy ball from Kieran Trippier in that right back position nervy start from him but Mane looks electric doesn't he in his early stages drifting in linking up what a start for Liverpool yeah, I was saying this morning Chris when we were on breakfast that uh, if this Champions League final throws up even anything like even a fraction of the thrills and spills that we've seen in the Champions League this season then it should be quite a spectacle and it started with a bang here Tottenham with Son on the left-hand side Alexander-Arnold does well the ball rolls towards the dead ball line and he turns and plays it out for a throw up the line do you know what one of the hardest things is imagine all the planning that's gone into this immediately changes everything on the point of both sides particularly Tottenham of course that early goal changed the whole feel of what all the tactical plan was Sean Dyche the Burnley manager is here with us Chris Sutton who's played and scored in the Champions League Welsh international Robbie Savage is here as well he'll be hosting 6 or 6 we'll hear from him in, uh, in a little while as well but here is Sissoko inside his own half Tottenham trying to recover from conceding the early goal and then Eriksen plays the ball forward beyond the Liverpool back line Alexander-Arnold back to Alisson who had to stretch for that and he immediately apologises to Liverpool right back yeah, that he was nervy wasn't it from Alexander-Arnold not the best ball Alisson stretch actually went down throw in taken to Sissoko he's 30 yards out angles it back stumble from Trippier here but Winks is in possession Harry Winks, who's come back after a groin operation and yet is fit to start the Champions League final. Alderweire swings the ball out high to the left-hand side. Rose, heavy touch from him. He was at full pace, took a touch, but it bounced away and out of play for a throw into Liverpool. This early in the game, I think, particularly from Tottenham, they've got to stick to whatever the plan was. You know, we don't know what the internal plan was from the manager. Stick with that. 1-0, it's, it's a tough... A uh, bit of pill to swallow this early now, but just stick with what you thought was right because it's still in theory right. You know, don't throw it out the window, stay calm, keep delivering it. Throw in for Alexander Arnold, but it was intercepted by the chest of Sissoko, who claimed that he was fouled by Fabinho. Referee Scamino says no, hit downfield. Danny Rose on the left hand side, a high foot from Firmino, but didn't make contact with the Tottenham left back. Deli Ali back to Rose. And I suppose, Chris, as well, you know, you've you mentioned it already, the setbacks that they have had to deal with in this Champions League this season they have remarkably Tottenham always been able to get back eventually into their stride yeah and that will all be in the memory bank the trouble they have is they are playing an outstanding Liverpool team Son down the left hand side this looks promising tried to slip the ball in field Henderson was able to get a foot in Eriksen on the edge of the box back to Son now Son trying to weave his way through past two men but then the final line of defence uh, and then it comes out to Sissoko who hits the shot from 25 yards plus and it flies away over the bar yeah, lively from Son off that left hand side dancing feet inside the box and then Pavino good interception again and as the ball goes out to Sissoko I just wondered could he have hit it first time took a touch and then wild with a shot goes a long way over the Liverpool bar Alisson the Liverpool goalkeeper passing the ball out as Liverpool like to do Fabinho who's under pressure from Son Kane wasn't far away so from the middle of his own half, he turned and just gave the ball back to Alisson. And now it's long for Liverpool, for Mane to chase. Mane, left side of the box, and then in comes Kieran Trippier with the challenge. Just got there, timed it well, corner Liverpool. It's the second time they've put it in behind uh, Trippier. You know, it looks to me like the early questions are being asked. You know, can we get our wide players, our fast wide players, Mane? So can we get them high and wide? Can we get them working off the shoulder of the back four at Tottenham? I think he's a player, Trippier, who's really lacked confidence this season. And Liverpool, it's a plan of trying to exploit Spurs in that right-back position. Very powerful from uh, set-pieces, by the way, Liverpool this season. I think they've got 30 of their 89 goals from set-pieces in the Premier League, of varying sorts, including penalties, of course. It's interesting here as well, Sean, the Liverpool players are very much crowding Lloris. They've got five men virtually on the goal line. They're yeah. surrounding Loris. It looks like they're going to whip it on top of him. Um, see what the referee does with this. That's the plan. Remember the goal that Loris conceded at Anfield just a couple of months ago. Alexander Arnold plays it in. Loris gets up there, punches it down into the penalty area. It bounces 
out of the box and is cleared away downfield. A nope. clear Liverpool tactic. Yep, load the ball in, but that was a good French fist. Tottenham nil, Liverpool one. Here in Madrid, lovely orangey sunshine on the top of the roof of the Metropolitano, where it says Madrid 19 final. And we've got the crests of the two clubs. Liverpool, long pass downfield, but that's way beyond Mohamed Salah, who's got his goal in the Champions League final, albeit from the, the penalty spot, so that edges him ahead of Mane in the Liverpool top scorer stakes this season, his 27th of the season. And some say he's had an indifferent season. Oh, no. Ridiculous. Yeah. Tottenham with a throw. Rose takes it when the Spurs go marching in. We're hearing that in full force now as Kane goes into the challenge. Uh, it was Alexander-Arnold. It was Matip who came in with the challenge, caught Kane who went spiralling over and crashed down onto the surface. He's OK, he's going to be back on his feet. It's a free kick and I think Matip is going to be only ticked off for that I actually thought he wins the ball first time against Ali then... I'm very very surprised that he hasn't booked him there very surprised I know you know they often talk referees letting the game settle but I'm very surprised all oh, a great ball free kick taken quickly to Son it was taken quickly by Deli Ali he was a little unfortunate yeah, there transition Son. It, it was just ball, ball. deflected off Son onto the Liverpool defender and it bounced away from him and Liverpool were able to clear downfield, so it's a throw into Tottenham halfway inside their own half. We played 12 minutes, BBC Radio 5 Live, the World Service, BBC London, Radio Merseyside, live from beautiful Madrid, where the weather, the temperature, we said it was going to be around about 30 degrees at kickoff. Sitting up here in the stand, it's absolutely beautiful. Won't be so easy down there on the pitch. Here is Fatongan at the back. He was another one who was doubtful after picking up an injury, an ankle injury in the semi-final in Amsterdam. Back it goes to Hugo Lloris. Lloris, long and left-footed towards the halfway line, but Alexander-Arnold wins the header for Liverpool. Five times European champions. Van Dijk heads it over the halfway line. Rose, now here's Son on the left-hand side. Son back into central defence again to Fatongan. Liverpool whistles because Tottenham have the ball inside their own half. And then it's drilled forward, left-footed by Fatongan. Trippier at full tilt, gets there as well. Near the dead ball line, turns, gives it back to Eriksen. Near the right corner of the box. Now it's back to Sissoko with the white wristbands on. Back to Eriksen on the right-hand side. Eriksen whips a, a left-footed ball towards the back post, but Alexander-Arnold was able to get up and head it out towards the far side for a throw. That wasn't a very good crossing position, Sean. They had a couple of times to put the ball in. Yeah, I mean, a, a nice rollback for Eriksen. We know he's got great delivery. I'm amazed he didn't just whip that in. You know, the power, the pace that he's got to put that in. You can see Tottenham now having to open the pitch up. That, that means that the, uh, Liverpool have to be defensively resilient, work on their distances, work on the shape. But as I said, you know, in the show, very, very good on transition, Liverpool. A really dangerous game Tottenham have got to play now because they've got to open up to try and open up the Liverpool defence. Working at a good block at the moment, but it's a dangerous tactic, I think. Another raking pass from central defence from this time Alder Viral. Trippier was right on the white line and he chested it back in, but the ball was already out. So Liverpool have a throw just down in front of us, next to where the blue carpet is, in front of the tunnel with the, the uh, image of the trophy itself just off the field in between where Jurgen Klopp is standing with his hands behind his back Mauricio Pochettino currently just sitting down in the dugout Mauricio Pochettino yet to win a major trophy as a manager Espanyol Southampton and now Tottenham and Jurgen Klopp who's looking to win his first trophy as the manager of Liverpool Mauricio Pochettino it's five years this week since he was appointed Here's Deli Ali, but it bounces away from him. Robertson's pass was a little fortunate there, bounced back to him. And then Vinalden also can't keep the ball. And Tottenham have got it back inside their own half. And Pochettino now suddenly appears from underneath the roof of the dugout, skipping forward uh, in clearly anger to the edge of the coaching area. Alexander Arnold allows the ball to bounce behind so you for know a goal already, but, You know, both teams they play, we spoke about this, good distances. Good on the front foot, trying to get the back foot up. And if you notice, the, the, the main threat at the moment has been getting good quality in behind. Good quality in behind the back to foot, uh, either back four. Quarter of an hour played. Tottenham nil, Liverpool one. With 15 minutes played, why don't we bring in Robbie Savage for a view on the first 15 minutes of the match, Robbie? 
Yeah, I'm not sure Liverpool have, have played that well. I think Tottenham, are, you know, have come into the game since the, the penalty was awarded after 23 seconds. See, I think it is a penalty. I think with the new, you know, the the, the way VAR is instructed in the Champions League, I think that is a penalty. Yeah, thanks, Robbie. I think as well, you know, when you see that, now we are used to the fact that in a, a UEFA match, that will be given as a penalty. Yeah, and I think that is the magic of VAR, though, because I think my personally, my initial reaction, as you know, was that was harsh. The more I looked at it, the more I saw this out of position right arm, then you think, no, it's got to be given. So that's the, that's what VAR is there for. Well, we were both at the VAR meeting, weren't we, John? And referees, they're told to give them as harsh as it seems. Yeah, that's what Damia Scamina did in Paris when Marcus Rashford scored the penalty and won the match for Manchester United or won the tie for Manchester United. And that's what he did here when Salah scored in the second minute. So Liverpool leading 1-0. Here's Henderson, the Liverpool captain, gives it to Alexander-Arnold, who's going to shoot from the angle, 30 yards out, and that was not far away, a cross goal and wider the foot of the post. There's another interception, good reading of the play from Fabinho. Prods the ball to Henderson, who feeds it to Alexander-Arnold. He must be all of 30 yards out, and he cuts across the ball, all sorts of swaz on it. And he's not far away, just past that right-hand post of Lloris. Tottenham nil, Liverpool one, and we've got a pitch invader who's running into the centre circle, so play obviously has to be stopped. And, um, and she has now been caught by a couple of stewards and is being taken away. The ball was just in the centre of the field. So 1-0 to Liverpool. Liverpool have actually conceded the first goal in their last four Champions League finals, European Cup Ch Champions League final. Not this time, they're ahead in this match. And incidentally, when Liverpool have won this trophy, the five times they've won it, they've all been against teams wearing white. Liverpool in red tonight, Tottenham in white. So you're ruling Spurs out then, John? Well, I'm not ruling them out because they, they played a team in white last year and lost. Here's Allison with the ball as players back underway. Ball towards the left-hand side, towards Robertson. And then uh, Sadio Mane felt that he was fouled there as the challenge came in from Trippier. Eriksen plays it through the middle, bounces off Henderson. Now it's back with Matip. And now Fabinho in the centre circle. Henderson takes it on. Henderson sees space for Robertson on the left-hand side. This is typical Andy Robertson. Off he goes, down the left wing. But then that's typical Sissoko to come in strongly, is able to get a touch on the ball, and then Robertson with a touch too, and he's able to shepherd it behind for a goal kick to Tottenham near the corner. Flag. So, so important when Tottenham are playing the intricate passing through the midfield. They've got to keep the ball. On turnover there, you can see how quickly Mane, how quickly Salah, they break off their shape and they drive towards the goal, waiting for the chance to operate on transition, waiting for the quality to come in behind the back four, and they know they've got the pace to get away from the back four of Tottenham. A uh, ball up towards Harry Kane, not really being able to get into the game just yet. Tottenham 1-0 down. Oh, that's a lovely ball from Eriksen. Through towards Son. And then, crucial defending from Trent Alexander-Arnold, who went across with Son and was able to just get a touch on the ball and take it away from him. But classic Eriksen with that pass from inside his own half, probably 10 yards inside his own territory. Tottenham still pressing here. Dele Alli, square. Now it's with Winks. Back to Dele Alli. Winks allows it to run to Eriksen, just outside the D. So close to slipping it through again, Eriksen, but this time Henderson was able to intercept and prevent it from reaching great, Son. Great defending there, great team play from Henderson to work back to into his back forward, stop that chance. Ball swung in from the left-hand side, but uh, straight into the arms of Allison. Chris Sutton. Yeah, and we just saw that the earlier chance came from really good hold-up play from Harry Kane. Deft touch into the path of Eriksen. Question marks over Kane, his fitness... Can he last? Is he fully fit? It's a decent start, but they need to give him the service. Yeah, if you've just joined us, the, the team news was that Kane and Winks are fit. They're both playing. They both started the Champions League final. And likewise, Firmino for Liverpool. He's not really got into the game Firmino for Liverpool. Here's Henderson now on the halfway line. Henderson towards the right-hand side. Salah is out there, just runs his foot over the ball as he does as he moves infield. Then gives a pass to Firmino. Back to Salah. Left foot shot. Took a deflection. Off Alderweireld, which took it further wide of the goal. And it's another Liverpool corner, and let's see if they crowd Lloris again. Yeah, again, it's a good driving run from Salah. 
off that right hand side links up gets a shot off about 25 yards out deflects wide of the goal yeah, it looks like it's same again John they are walking with a sort of air of menace aren't they massive they're strong. they've been strong at set pieces you know it's a it's a great chance for them here Tottenham got to really be diligent and really really be alive here yeah five men all around the Tottenham goalkeeper Tottenham defenders in there as well Alexander Arnold with the delivery Loris comes gets a punch on it this time a left fist which takes it bouncing out into the hoardings on the far side for a throw in he's dealt with it well Loris the two corners you know they're, they're asking questions it looks like around him but he's dealt with it well 1-0 Liverpool lead throw into Liverpool Jordan Henderson just having a little word with referee Scamina I'm not sure what that was about. To throw in to Liverpool, halfway inside the Tottenham half. Already over 20 minutes played. Mohamed Salah's penalty, the difference between the sides. The throw in taken towards Salah in the box on the right hand side. Turns and shoots left footed from an almost impossible angle. And actually, it was so impossible, it's gone straight across the penalty area and bounced out for a throw in. <laughs> you don't often see that from Mo Salah, a shot which goes out for a throw and he uses his body so well you can't get too tight to Salah he feels for Tongan good sharp turn there's a skill in that mate I was good at finding the stand <laughs> incidentally not just out for a throw in it was 10 yards away from the corner flag Firmino into the box from the left hand side his little ball in field was read by Fatongan who was able to move across and clear it away Liverpool back in possession Robertson Firmino now Mane with a flick with the inside of his right foot out to the left for Van Alden. Ball cross from Robertson looking for the arriving Salah, but Danny Rose got a touch to it. Such an important touch with his head, which took it flying out for a throw on the right. How many times is he on the money, Robertson? Left hand touch line, so many assists this season. Rose took up a good position. Same as we were saying about Ericsson, that's why I couldn't believe he turned it down. At the other end of the pitch, Trippier rolls it back. Ericsson's got the same shape as Robertson now on his right foot, though, working the ball into the box with power. The, the ugly ball, as they call it. Central halves hate that. Fizzing in, power, whip, horrible to deal with. Tottenham still penned back in their defensive third. Son gave it away there. Liverpool coming again. Robertson to the left hand side to Mane. Mane just drifting from right to left towards the dead ball line. Trippier goes with him. Trippier is able to stick out a left leg and block it behind. Another Liverpool corner. And Eriksen getting dragged back, doing a job defensively. But that match up, Mane against Trippier. Liverpool, a lot of play down this left hand side. And Trippier stood up well there. Liverpool were in great form coming into the end of the season as they chased Manchester City all the way. They've won 13 of the last 14 matches. And actually this team, so just one change from the last league match of the season. Corner taken short this time to Henderson in the box. Now Robertson swings it in from the left-hand side. That's headed away on the edge of the area. Uh, and Robertson, as the two players turned, Kieran Trippier and Robertson together, Robertson... Uh, I'm not sure whether no, it's just no, a, a no. swinging arm that has caught Trippier who just recoiled back and fell to the ground clutching his face well see the referee Scamina having words with Robertson he's just running his arm catches Trippier it's yeah, a natural it's a natural yeah, movement just... isn't it he catches Trippier in the eye or in the nose I mean really I mean Trippier goes down should he go down there it was hardly vicious. It happened very close to the the Tottenham technical area. And Maurizio Pochettino, I think he must have said something because the referees just paused play here and he is speaking quite animatedly with Maurizio Pochettino and then they pat one another on the chest and everything's all right. He just looked like that, Maurizio Pochettino, like he's losing his cool. He'd be angry about you know, the early goal. But he looks rattled not difficult in these conditions to lose your cool Chris you might need that Quite. jumper later though <laughs> well I was mocked earlier wasn't I by Sean well, Dyche and Robbie Savage but I can assure the listeners Chris did tell us it was fr it could get freezing, freezing. later not yeah. chilly freezing we are quite, quite we are quite I high can assure in the you listeners it's yeah. not going to get freezing no, we are, later we're quite high in the stand but not that high it's all relative Sissoko just playing the ball back to goalkeeper Lloris in the penalty area to our left, Tottenham just keeping the ball inside their own half. Loris goes lot, and Van Dijk is able to, unchallenged, 
headed back towards the halfway line where Sissoko under pressure from Wijnaldum miscontrols it out for a throw into Liverpool 10 yards inside their own half 25 minutes played you're listening to us on the World Service BBC Radio 5 Live BBC London and Radio Merseyside on a, a beautiful evening here in the northeast of Madrid throwing Robertson takes it up the line Trippier who's recovered from that hand in the face then Son just can't bring the ball under control in the centre circle Liverpool go forward again but then uh, Sissoko is able to turn it roll it back all the way to Hugo Lloris in I the think, penalty area to our left. I think both managers at the minute they're a little bit unsettled with too many turnovers, too many cheap turnovers, too many simple things going right, simple passes that are not finding the mark. Just happened again there, you know, too many turnovers. And I think both managers will be a bit disappointed with that so far. Yeah, 20 days since they last played a match. Whether that's a factor or not, I don't know. Whether the heat plays a part in that, but it, it has had that to it. Oh, yes, I think so. But, but you know, that time, those extra... Well, those three weeks have allowed Tottenham to get key players fit for this game so I don't think Spurs will be moaning about that too much and Liverpool of course Firmino fit Harry Kane ball out towards the left hand side Fertongen now Rose back towards Fertongen Alderweireld's available on the edge of his penalty area and then uh, the Tottenham central defenders just exchanging passes and then Firmino comes forward and closes down Alderweireld who has to go long and Trippier plays it on the volley into Robertson and it bounces out of play next to Mauricio Pochettino who then has the ball thrown at him by a ball boy and it hits him in the chest Trippier has got a ball from somewhere and he takes the throw Alderweireld again the Liverpool press here with Firmino for Tongan just angles it to Winks now to Sissoko Spurs still inside their own half and then uh, the long ball from Alderweireld through the middle Son on the chase running at an angle from left to right takes the ball down runs it out into the fullback uh, position I thought he looked offside and the when, flag he, when he made the run it was offside. a tight one you can see both sides though like I say because they're both pressing sides they want to get on the front foot that means the back four has got to come up but you can see very effective both sides when they have length on the pitch they have asked questions in behind the back four very close there very close to getting in top 1-0 Liverpool lead Liverpool supporters in great heart here 16,000 more of them more than that similar allocation for Tottenham as well to our left so many white shirts ball up towards Mane who was challenged from behind by Alderweireld it's given as a free kick Alderweireld throws his arms up in the air but it's a free kick to Liverpool forward of the centre circle I think it was Trippier on Mane diagonal ball from Alexander-Arnold Halfway inside his own half wasn't the best of balls, fired into him. I think Liverpool got a little bit lucky there. Look soft to me at the ward of the free kick. Free kick. Alexander Arnold is over it. As I say, it's probably 10 yards ahead of the centre circle. So it's a long, long way out. He's not going to shoot. He's not going to shoot, Sean. It's taken short. He's and then not. Alexander Arnold curls it in. And Sissoko moved towards it, jumped with it, but allowed it to go through for a goal kick. I wonder whether Sissoko got a touch on that. Was switched on and was alert. Almost half an hour played. And Liverpool leading through the penalty that was awarded after 23 seconds of the Champions League final. And Tottenham in a little bit of trouble at the back. Very surprised there. Lloris is playing out there. They've set the press. Liverpool have set the press there. And they're, and, and they're still fighting their way to get out of there. They've finally got out of there. You know, but it, they're working ever so hard time just to get the ball out their own half at the minute. I think they maybe have to mix their play a little bit more, even from goal kicks. Fabinho with a challenge on Kane. That's a foul, a little foul. And a free kick to Tottenham. Just when Tottenham were looking to, to break over the halfway line, Eriksen involved again. Eriksen's been involved in, well the best of what Tottenham have been able to do so far in this final Loris clears long left footed over the halfway line bounces off Matip Van Dijk has to move across towards his left hand side and then scoops a pass that Robertson will do well to keep in in fact he can't reach it it bounces out of play just next to Jurgen Klopp for a throw into Tottenham Trippier was quickly on the scene wanted to take a quick throw to Eriksen but thinks twice Kane plays it forward that bounces into the path of of uh, 
Van Dijk who just clears it away downfield and Tottenham have a throw. Very effective at smothering the play at the minute, Liverpool. You know, their distances are good, they're compact, they're, they're breaking into the, 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 you know, the main lines of pass, they know Tottenham want to get into, the pockets they want to get into. Doing a really good job at the minute, at Liverpool. They're just containing Tottenham. Fine lines between them in the Premier League this season. Both matches finished 2-1 to Liverpool, who were worthy winners at, at Wembley early in the season. But Tottenham gave them a real fright in the second half, at least, at Anfield. Here's Salah. Salah playing the ball through towards Firmino, but Alderweireld was able to move into position and take the ball away from the uh, Liverpool number nine. Tottenham still with the ball. In fact, the offside flag goes up and it's a free kick to Spurs. Halfway inside their own half. The 2019 Champions League final being won 1-0 by Liverpool. Trippier. Here's Harry Winks. Missed the last nine matches, just like Harry Kane. Now Alderweireld, who has played in a losing Champions League final for the team that plays in this stadium, Atletico Madrid, when they were beaten in the first of the all Madrid finals. We talk about an all a final between two English clubs. Of course, we've had two Champions League finals in recent years between two teams from this city. Here's Rose over the halfway line. Oh, plays the ball behind Son. Another little error. We've too seen many num- too many errors. Yeah, too many unforced errors at the minute. Both sides, but particularly Tottenham. Too many moments like that. Simple moments to build something into the game. You know, to build to be effective, to get in the top third with quality. Too many at the moment. He did well initially. Rose knocked the ball around Henderson, left-hand side. Just a really poor pass. Goes out for a throw into Liverpool. Throw into Liverpool. Halfway inside their own half. Van Alden. Plays it back to Alexander Arnold, who just hits the ball rather aimlessly to Sissoko in the centre circle. And Sissoko is able to drive on so close. Sissoko to finding the pass diagonally to Son, but Matip was in just the right place. Yeah, and you, you say that, but Alexander Arnold's error came from a really poor pass back from Wijnaldum. Eriksen now for Tottenham rolls it to the left hand side to Danny Rose. Blue boots, quick steps, but didn't get the movement that he wanted there. Danny Rose who's berating his teammates and has to play it back towards the halfway line now Harry Winks turns on the ball plays it centrally to Deli Alley. a flick from him Harry Kane takes it up then back towards the halfway line to Winks Winks passes it behind Trippier it's another error passed out of play by Harry Winks this time and another really poor pass and Trippier is the out ball because Liverpool's back for a so narrow Trippier hugging the touchline but that was awful, awful. The manager oh, Pochettino will be really frustrated at the minute just from the simple parts of the game. I said before the game, I asked him what would I tell the players. I said, build on the basics, do the basics well. Yes, sure Deli Ali. Deli Ali gets away into the penalty area on the right hand side. Still going, plays the ball across. Actually tried to play it through the legs, I think, of Matip. And it caught the, the right leg and bounced behind for a Tottenham corner, which winks, which uh, Ali is going to take quickly. He does to Trippier. Trippier looks up. Curls it in towards the near post. Van Alden was there in position to head it out and back towards the right hand side where it bounces out of play for a throw in. Just over 10 minutes to go to half time. Liverpool leading through the early Salah penalty. Trippier just holding the, the ball, the Champions League final ball with its white stars and orange background above his head. Trippier takes the throw. Ericsson near the corner flag, down here to the right. Robertson is able to get a, a toe to it to touch it out of play, and it's a throw into Tottenham five yards back from the corner flag. Again, Trippier. Winks is at close quarters. Trippier loops a throw in towards Kane. That's won by Van Dyke against Kane. And um, now Tottenham win it back. Trippier. Uh, Tottenham fans feeling that he might have fouled Firmino there, but it's not given that way. And Tottenham still have possession, albeit deep inside their own half with the central defenders. For Tongan wanted to hit that quickly, but felt that Trippier wasn't ready for it. And again, there's a little reaction from a Tottenham man, this time waving his arms in the direction of Trippier. You see how open they've made it there. Look at the fullbacks for Tottenham. High, very high, wide, and they've got the three coming inside now, you know, joining in with, or hoping to join in with Kane. Look at Son's position, look at Eriksson's position, really trying to force themselves in to get nearer to Kane. Ten minutes to go to half-time, plus added time. Here's Henderson, the Liverpool captain on the right, does well. Gets round the defender, but his cross is too deep. And in actual fact, swung out of play, according to the assistant on the far side. So it's a goal kick yeah, once again, to Tottenham. A, a poor diagonal ball from Trippier. But Liverpool, 
their shape. They're just sitting in, Sean, waiting to pounce on. Yeah, really, they? really good distances. They're alive, they're alert, they're coming out of sauce. Obviously, the early goal helps enormously. Um, it's so difficult, Tottenham, like I said, they're opening up, they want to play, they want to open up the pockets. But when Liverpool get it and they they work on counter, they can be devastating at times. Really chip. Tottenham have got to do it, don't get me wrong, to break Liverpool down. But it is a big risk. Remember how Tottenham came on strong at Anfield in the second half. Deli Ali flicking the ball forward, but that will just run through to Allison, the, uh, the Liverpool goalkeeper, who is able to, to pick it up quite comfortably. And um, actually, for once, just walks forward calmly with it, bounces it a couple of times. The bearded Liverpool goalkeeper, who's another who's made a big, big difference to this Liverpool team. And just as I talk him up, he launches the ball straight out of play, about 10 yards above the head of Robertson for a throw into Tottenham. Here's Trippier, who plays it back to his goalkeeper, Lloris, who was beaten by the Salah penalty. As I say, it was quite close to him. It was just a couple of feet above him, but... He guessed, he gambled. Yeah. You know, we can't blame the keeper for no, that. No, no, no. Salah. Salah just hit him so cleanly, didn't he? Quite a big wind-up, as you said, Chris, for the penalty. Stepped out wide to the right-hand side, came in, but struck it so well. He's like a rugby kicker. Mm. Liverpool... Ball in the Tottenham defensive third, but over on the far side, Salah has uh, two Tottenham players with him, and the ball's deflected back onto Salah and out of play for a, a throw in to Tottenham halfway inside, uh, or deep inside their own half on the far side that Danny Rose is going to take next to a Tottenham flag from Nuneaton. The banners actually are a real feature at both ends. There are some great little messages on them that are hanging from all of the, the various points around the ground where the supporters have been allowed to hang the the flags and banners Liverpool with the ball inside their own half Robertson turns it back to Allison, who will pass it out towards Matip who flicks the ball here to Robertson great pass and Robertson has space now he's looking to capitalise on that and takes it up towards the edge of the area and shoots and Lorries it was just above his head but I think that was moving both at pace and from side to side and he touched it over the bar what a player what a season he has had but let me tell you the pass out from Matip who was under all sorts of pressure from Son was sublime crossfield ball from right to left and Robertson just kept going and going given the space and he hammers the shot and Lloris did make the save should have made the save tipped it over to corner to Liverpool it's the fourth one they've had but it's the first one from the right hand side so this time with Alexander Arnold hitting the outswinging corner they're not crowding Loris they're near the penalty spot ball into the near post Son heads it out and then Salah was underneath it just on the edge of the D he caught that well as well but he's landed it halfway up the <laughs> lower tier of the Tottenham fans don't often say this mind the windows Mo that was horrible wasn't it right footed volley for Tongan worryingly for Spurs has gone down holding his left arm so what's happened there then for Tongan is, uh, is crouching down in his own penalty area and the uh, the medical people are on he's down on one knee and now stands up and is it a f is it a finger perhaps it's a bit difficult to left, tell left elbow isn't it left arm yeah it's his lower lower left arm and the uh, the physio is holding his left elbow and manipulating his left wrist. And Fatong looks as though he's in some pain. You know, he's got his he's got his fingers pinching the bridge of his nose. And we're just seeing a replay now when it's not entirely it's, clear. It's, what are he's competing for the ball. The corner comes in, and when Alden gets the run on him, and you can see him now, his face is in a lot of pain. I think he's going to be all right. I think he's, he's funny both. We all know what a pain in the that is. Elbow. <laughs> yes, so, of course. Exactly what I meant. That's our medical expert, Sean Dyche. <laughs> Thanks, See, I've been here for two. I was just going to say... It feels like it being with you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, well, welcome to a Five Live commentary with Chris Sutton. The ball's out of play uh, for a goal kick, and yet yeah, Fatongan's going to be OK, sprinting back towards the halfway line. And he's now straight back onto the field. So 1-0 Liverpool lead, half-time approaching. Henderson playing a high ball over the top towards Mane. 
who is uh, able to, to move away from Trippier, who is very tight on him. But they're together now in the Tottenham right-back area. Mane then found Winks on the scene as well, so played it back to Robertson. Who angles up all in field, and now Van Aldem just outside the box. Salah. Salah flicked it, but didn't get enough of a flick on it to Mane, and Sissoko was able to, to arrive and with both legs block it out for a throw-in. See Mane on every, or virtually every time it turns over the middle, he drives at Trippier, he's driving at him, trying to get him behind him, trying to, you know, disrupt Trippier with his pace and his power. Robertson takes the throw, a little stooping header by Firmino, back to Robertson, who loses to Son, and now Eriksen, and Son... Son running across field, but he's lost possession. Henderson with a chance to shoot, it's deflected back to Firmino in the D. Firmino trying to find a shooting position. Across came Alder Viral, so he uses Henderson, then plays it out to the right-hand side. Here's the cross from Alexander-Arnold, which hits the defender. Danny Rose, and bounces straight behind for a Liverpool corner. Yeah, just wondered. he dwell on it too long. Firmino had the chance to get the shot off, took too long, and Spurs smother it out for a corner to Liverpool. I hope Smurs are not playing. <laughs> an awful game if Smurs turn up. Yes. I had a feeling you weren't going to let him get away with that. Corner then, Alexander Arnold to the near post. That's headed away for Tottenham. Two Liverpool players near it. Salah hits a shot, but rather sliced that. And uh, it, I think it took a deflection as well. It does. Lloris scampered to his right. He's got to do better than that. Premier League, keeper. seven, seven uh, direct contacts for goals. Liverpool. You know, each time this happens, and. You know, if they get the right quality in there, they have got goals in them from corners. He should have kept that in, the Lawrence. goalkeeper at Lloris. It was a volley, or a half volley from Salah, took a deflection. Yeah, and the spinning ball had too much spin on it for the Tottenham goalkeeper, who fumbled it behind for a corner. Salah's going to take this one to the near post, but Son hooks it away on the volley with his right foot. And it bounces out of play, or at least Robertson makes sure it bounces out of play with Ericsson not far away. Liverpool finishing the first half strongly here, leading by one goal to nil. We've got two and a half minutes of the first 45 of this 2019 Champions League final to play. You're listening to it on the BBC, BBC Radio, Five Live, the World Service, BBC London and Radio Merseyside are all with us this evening. So uh, millions and millions of listeners to the radio and as Maurizio Pochettino said yesterday, a billion watching on television. Liverpool with the ball in from the right-hand side, blocked on the edge of the box by Alderweireld. And then uh, Liverpool concede a free kick, 10 yards inside their own half, and it's going to be taken quickly by Winks, looking for the ball over the top through the middle. Matip was in position to head it away. Ha Harry Kane holds off Van Dijk, but goes to ground, no free kick. And Alexander-Arnold whips the ball away downfield. This is for Salah to chase, but Fatongan got there first, played it with his right foot back to Loris. It's kept in by a, a leaping Danny Rose with his head on the far side, and Tottenham will pass it away from inside their own half. And in fact, Rose rolls the pass forward to Son on the left-hand side, and it is three against three as Tottenham come forward, oh. but the ball is overhit by Deli Alley through for Alisson. Too many unforced errors from Tottenham. You know, we're talking... Very high quality technical players. They'll be, they'll be so frustrated. The manager will have too many unforced errors for players of this level in the market. Yeah, it's a disappointing feature of this Champions League final so far. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think it was the most difficult pass from Deli Ali, but to miss it by that far and allow Alisson to gather. And quite frankly, this first half, Alisson, I don't think he's had a save to make. I've not made a single note of that nature the ball was played forward for Liverpool but Mane took a stumble there or a slip or under pressure from Trippier anyway he ended up on the ground and Tottenham have got the ball back we're in the last minute of the first 45 now we had a goal right at the end we had a goal right at the start of this half for Liverpool and Tottenham coming forward Robertson is able to get his foot to it and hook it out of play for a throw in the fourth official has just come forward with the board. He did flash the number, and I think it might have been a two. Here's Tottenham's number two, with a throw in 15 yards inside the Liverpool half. Ericsson comes across. Back to Trippier, then into the centre circle. Firmino unsettles the Tongan, but the ball bounces for Sissoko. It is two minutes of added time being played at the end of this first period. Now on the right-hand side, Son moves away from Robertson. Son plays it across, Dali Ali touches it back to Ericsson. It's opening up for Ericsson, but his left foot shot. 
is hit horribly high over the crossbar and into the Liverpool fans. And they worked it really well. It was an opportunity to let the ball go out to the left-hand side for Rose, but when Eriksen gets within, what, 20, 22 yards of the goal and has a free shot, you certainly expect the goalkeeper to be worked left-footed. At least that a little reminder of the Tottenham what you know. You know, a little pocket of play, filling the, the, the sort of D of the box with players in quality positions and trying to break out wide or get efforts at goal. 1-0 to Liverpool. Tottenham with the ball on the edge of their own penalty area again. Final seconds of the first half. This second Champions League final between two English clubs. Trippier hits the ball downfield. Matip got his head to it. Van Dijk hikes it straight out of play for a so throw into by doing that is just changing the feel a little bit changing asking a different question stretching the midfield of Liverpool just asking a question can you go and work off second ball sometimes as well as the beauty of playing through the third Trippier after the throw back to Sissoko we've got 30 seconds of added time left the whistles are Liverpool whistles they want to see their team going in with the lead at half time here in Madrid Tottenham with Winks then Rose on the left hand side and now Deli Ali out on the left flank and then it's worked across by Winks but cut out at the near post by Matip Alexander-Arnold then comes in with a challenge wins it back Rose is claiming that Alexander-Arnold carried it out and over the dead ball line but the assistant on the other side didn't feel that and it's out of play for a throw into Tottenham near the halfway line so 1-0 Liverpool lead and that is the half-time score so the early goal, the very early penalty after 23 seconds for Sissoko's handball. It struck him high on the right arm. The arm was outstretched. Uh, referee Scamina had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. It was whipped away, buried by Mo Salah to give Liverpool the lead in the second minute. We've seen lots of unforced errors from Tottenham. We've seen very little of Harry Kane, who has chosen to start this final and at half-time, Liverpool lead by one goal to nil as the players troop down the tunnel and towards the dressing rooms here at the Metropolitano. So the half-time score, Tottenham Hotspur nil, Liverpool won. I don't think we'll say the words unforced error as much on the first day at Wimbledon, Sean, as we have in the first half here. That was the weirdest 45 minutes, and I, I will just lay at the door, I think what we talked about beforehand, rust two and a half weeks of not playing there was rust misplaced passes momentum loss fluency loss rhythm loss from both sides yeah i think there's a bit of that i think you know what we have mentioned in the builder this is a massive occasion even some of these players who have played in big occasions you know this is still a, so there'll be a nervousness usually that goes early in the game but it doesn't seem to have it seemed to linger you know both even liverpool you know they've they found moments for sure, but nothing really fluid yet. You know, Tottenham, the last little bit, Ericsson gets a shot off after a good bit of clever play, more like the Tottenham that we know, but that's been one pocket. They've equally been working on not so much counter in a sense of how you imagine it quick passing through the thirds, but more direct, going in behind Trippier for Mane, trying to release Son on the opposite side. Neither team actually will be overwhelmed with their performance, although Liverpool have looked nice and solid, they haven't really looked in trouble, particularly after taking the early lead. Certainly a lot more to come from both, I would say. And what, looking at Liverpool there, Chris, it, it was almost like they were quite happy to, obviously, to allow Tottenham on to them, to try and spring them on the break, but yep. I was surprised at one up that they didn't try to be a bit more proactive of themselves, Liverpool. Yeah, and I, I'd agree with that. I think that, uh, the, the, you know, both sides have, have really lacked a rhythm uh, with their passing, but... It, this sort of suits Liverpool, doesn't it? it? It suits the way they play. They sit in, they keep their shape. They're like a coiled spring, aren't they? They recover the ball and then they have that pace and that power up top. But, and, and that's going to be Tottenham's dilemma. But, you know, they will have to take a chance at some stage. What's been disappointing from Tottenham? You know, they've got a, a lot of attacking players, flair players on show. They haven't worked Alisson once in that first half and that would be something that Pochettino will, will I'm sure, be addressing at half-time. They need to offer more of a threat. How did they do that, Sean? How did Tottenham offer more of a threat? 
Well, I think they've they've got to speed up their play from the for when playing out from uh, the the back third, if you like. If they're playing out through Lloris, they've got to speed that up. They've got to get turned into the pockets. You know, you can play, you can lend it, you can bounce it back, but at some point you've got to get turned in them pockets to drive forward and open up. You know, the thought of playing forwards. I think they've got to mix it slightly more. I think even from Lloris now and again, change the field by you know change the tempo, the field, kicking longer just to ask a question and to stretch the game out. That all sounds obviously very easy, not so easy when you forget that Liverpool, they're such a fine side, they've got pace at the back with Van Dijk and he's a, he's a monster of a player. You know, they've, they've looked, they've contained it well at the moment. I'm going to say the tireless work at Henderson, things that fans don't always notice, but the detail behind that, you know, filling in for Salah. When it, Salah, when he, it's not natural for him to be working back all the time. You often see Henderson driving out there, Fabinho getting across there, you know. So they're doing the ugly things of the game very, very well, Liverpool at the minute. And of course, we all know within that they can equally hurt you in any given moment on the counter so it's more in Liverpool's normal way of playing at the moment Tottenham have got to go and ask more questions I think they will by the way I think they will ask more questions second half now VAR decided it was not a clear and obvious error but looking at the pictures again it seemed as if he hit him under the armpit Chris and I guarantee that next season I guarantee next season Sean will say in some interview I cannot believe that VAR has given a penalty against us for that but it did seem Chris let me start with you it seemed to hit him under the armpit didn't it well, you know, we've seen Sean complain at you know various times this season, so nothing's going to change next season. I'm absolutely <laughs> sure of that. What do you uh, mean? Only two penalties in 92 <laughs> Premier League games. I'll never complain about that. There we go. Uh, look, we're, we're back to the old adage. Um, you know, was it harsh? Absolutely, was it harsh? But you know, myself and John went to the VAR uh, thing in London, and and referees are told to to give penalties when the arm is in an unnatural position. I think it hits him on the chest first, and then his arm. That is why I thought it hit him on the chest and then the arm first. Sure, yeah, well, that's I why think, you I don't think, you don't tend to get penalties given for deflections. Referees don't well, give well, a deflection uh, penalty. No, the, the the I think he's given it for the unnatural position as much as anything. Yep. But the, but the, the point is. Even if your arm is in a natural position, so it's still going to hit it. You know, it looked to me, I haven't seen it back again on the, the replays yet, but it looked to me like it's him on the top side of his chest first. Tough one to call, but it is likely to get given, and it did get given. The thing is, nowadays, if you're a, if you're a player, you know in that situation, you have your arms out or up, that there's a chance of, you know, the referee awarding a penalty. So really, you know, you have to question Sissoko and say, what were you thinking? You have to say that to your players at the start of pre-season. In all seriousness, don't you, Sean? You cannot bend me, Tarkowski, all the rest of you. You cannot put your arms out like that. They will well, be given. To be fair, we've been talking, you know, with them um, about that for a number of seasons now. You know, we are renowned as a blocking team, and they know how to block. They know how to keep their body shape right. I hope so. Anyway, I think they do. Um, you are asking for trouble if you are if your arms are not somewhere close to your body. If they start wandering around, you are going to get yourself in trouble at some point. The second quickest goal in the final, the quickest was against Liverpool. Paolo Maldini scored the first, obviously the first, uh, in 50 seconds as they race into the 3-0 win in Istanbul in 2005. But Mo Salah's penalty on a rather surreal odd night, it's got to be said in Madrid so far, where the game just hasn't got going. But listen, fingers crossed, 45 minutes ago, Liverpool in front by a goal to nil. And Stuart Clarkson here with the news. On digital, BBC Sounds, smart speaker and online. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. The Home Office says Border Force officials intercepted 74 migrants after eight small boats crossed the English Channel earlier. The Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, says he's receiving regular updates on the situation and says the number is deeply concerning. The Chief Constable of Northern Ireland has condemned an attempt to murder one of his officers in Belfast this afternoon. A bomb was found under the man's car at a golf club where he'd been playing. Tributes have been paid to the former Arsenal and Spain winger Jose Antonio Reyes, who's died in a car crash. He was 35 and part of the 2014 Invincibles, who won the Premier League without losing a game. Arsenal says the club's devastated by the shock news. His former teammate Thierry Henry has called him a wonderful player and an exceptional human being. And one bit of travel news tonight. The M6 is closed northbound between Stafford Services and Junction 15 at Stoke. An overturned car in the roadworks. The main two lanes are blocked from Junction 14 to 15 and traffic's at standstill as a result. Five Live Sports, tomorrow morning. Five Live presents ringside coverage from the Madison Square Garden as Anthony Joshua takes on Andy Ruiz Jr. Brilliant right hand from Anthony Joshua. 
Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing. Against Ruiz, you want to see a devastating knockout. Too much strength, too much power. That is the greatest round of boxing we have had on the five live. Joshua v. Ruiz Jr. Tomorrow morning at four. Who will land first? Who will land hardest? On BBC Radio 5 Live. This is Five Live Sport, the Champions League final, Spurs against Liverpool. Well, that trail sets us up to go to Madison Square Garden. Anthony Joshua against Andy Ruiz Jr. in the early hours of tomorrow morning. You heard Steve Bunce on the trail there. Buncey, whereabouts are you in the Big Apple exactly? Thank you. It, oh, Steve Bunce, can you hear us? Buncey, where are you? I think I'm in we Carragher's are struggling. Bar on oh, we got you. Street, just off a of seventh. I'm here. I'm here, Pumas. Don't worry. There's me and a thousand Liverpool fans. I'm ankle deep and in booze on the floor. On the floor, I said, Ed. If we, if I stay here much longer, it will be up my shins. It will probably reach my knees by the final whistle. Okay, that's where you are. We've got a tight uh, Champions League final here. Do you expect it to be a lot more one-sided for Anthony Joshua when you get going in the early hours of the morning, our time? It'll be a lot shorter than what I'm expecting here or the match that you're watching, but it will be, I think, brutal for six or seven rounds because Ruiz brings to the table everything that Joshua dislikes. He'll win, Josh, don't worry about that, Pugas, but it will be tough until it finishes in about round six. You've got three world title fights as well, so what else are you looking forward to before Anthony Joshua gets going? Well, whisper this, well, shout it really because I'm in this noisy bar, but Katie Taylor is the real star, the Olympic champion, former amateur world champion, unbeaten as a professional. She's got three of the world title belts and she's fighting for the fourth one to become a unified champion. And they're rare these days. She's against a policewoman, a riot control officer, called Delphine Pursuit. And then the other world title fight is a, a man called Callum Smith from Liverpool, a Liverpool fan. And as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at his father, known as the Arm, his brother, known as Smigger, and his other brother, known as Liam. They are in this bar. Three world title fights, one Irish woman and two Brits. It ain't a bad, it ain't a bad night or early morning. Uh, Steve, it's a great lineup. Looking forward to coverage from around the half past one in the morning. Uh, Mike Costello ringside, David Hay and Carl Frampton with him, of course. Three world title fights, Joshua, about half three in the morning. Tottenham and Liverpool subs out there warming up. Tottenham subs in particular may be needed soon. Emma Saunders is out in town with the Tottenham fans. Well, the Tottenham fans severely outnumbered here in the Irish Rover Bar. A stone throw from the Bernabeu Stadium, but Spurs not outplayed, according to their supporters here. Luke, you've travelled from North London. What do you make of that first 45? We've, we've absolutely dominated the game there. It's so frustrating that we've gone behind in the first minute. But, you know, we're, we're, we're banging the game. The boys the boys that bang up for it today, we're creating chances, so uh, hopefully we can get ourselves back into it. Well, you know the narrative of the Spurs side in the Champions League so far this campaign. They've left it late. It's all to play for in the next 45. Emma, thank you very much indeed. Let me just bring you the other sports news today. Serena Williams and Naomi Osaka both knocked out of the French Open. Williams knocked out by another American, Sophia Kenin, 6-2-7-5. And Osaka, the world number one, beaten by the unseeded Czech, Katarina Siniakova. European champion Saracen overturned an 11-point deficit to beat Exeter in a premiership final thriller at Twickenham. Sarri's winning 37-34 in the end. Trainer Aidan O'Brien won the Epsom Derby for record equaling seventh time with the 13 to 2 shot Anthony Van Dyke, ridden by the jockey Shami Heffernan. England's women's football has lost their final World Cup warm up game 1 0 to New Zealand in Brighton. A couple of very one sided games, that's a shame, that makes three in a row, doesn't it, in the Cricket World Cup. Australia beat Afghanistan by seven wickets and New Zealand obliterated Sri Lanka by 10 wickets. And in the Super League, uh, in the Challenge Cup, the Super League leader St Helens hammered Wakefield Trinity 48 10 to reach the semi finals. The boxing then, Katie Taylor from 1.30 onwards, and then Mike Costello, David Hay, and Carl Frampton with all the build up around about 3.30. Anthony Joshua with the ring walk. So, Sean Dyche, your Maurizio Pochettino, tell us what have you been saying to your players and what are you thinking about and when in terms of any potential changes? 
I think first of all, got to sort out dealing with the ball better. You know, if you're going to play from the back as they want to, you know that Liverpool are going to oppress, so you've got to play quicker, you've got to play faster, you've got to, you've got to be more effective with your passing. And if you're playing through the third, you've got to get turned. You know, players have got to get turned and then the runners off that, which Tottenham do really, really well usually, by the way. Against that, if Liverpool come on a high line, you've got to ask questions. They've, they've attempted to a couple of times, not really landed it with any quality. Trippier's got in behind a couple of times, not quite landed it. Once they've landed it, the other side rows now and again. Son trying to stretch the pitch. Really change the feel of the game. If they keep playing like this in front of Liverpool, you know, not with that true sort of zip that we know Tottenham can play with, then I think Liverpool will contain them well. Does he have a dilemma? Mauricio Pochettino in, in Lucas Moura when when is he yeah, coming on yeah because I think he does I think you're right I think you know you're alluding to the right things Kane hasn't had the service though you mentioned that no. you know you're a striker and you know that he hasn't had good service or, or that that much service in, in general but he does have that way of staying focused Kane he stays focused he finds a chance how long do you believe that he's going to find a chance not just him by the way but him being the main kingpin you know does Moura come on a bit more slippery, a bit more eel-like? He can get into them yeah, slots. The he can ask behind. questions in yeah. behind. Yeah, when Liverpool come high, it will happen. It's the this is the big call of a manager. When do you when do you make that decision? You know that's got well, you know and his staff have got a process now. But Jurgen Klopp will be rather frustrated it. as well, won't he, Sean? Because they didn't play particularly. They contained comfortably. Well, but they well didn't yeah, again, not by their standards. No, you know, not, they've worked very well. The pressing lines are good. The shape's good. The, you know the the willingness to win it back in midfield and go searching to win it back, anticipate the play defense very good but by their standards too many you know cheap giveaways too many moments when they've overhit passes they've been on transition overhit it which is you know one of their main things they do it so well both managers in a different way would be frustrated but obviously Klopp knows he's in the lead you know yeah. and, and can they do they contain the game now or do they get back on the front foot and get a bit more Liverpool like if you like Tottenham they've got to open up the game they've been attempting to do it they just need to bring the quality that they've got to bring it to a fore and really ask questions of Liverpool I'm not so sure Klopp will be frustrated Alisson has had nothing to do this is the perfect position for Liverpool you know they want Spurs to come onto them and then they have that zip and that pace and players who can hurt Spurs I think you're right in that sense but don't forget on turnover I'm talking about when mm. they've turned the ball over there's been so many of them don't forget so many unforced errors from Tottenham playing into the hands of a team like Liverpool because when they get them unforced errors particularly in the middle third Liverpool are arguably them and Man City particularly you know the best at turning their moments into chances they react very very quickly to stimulate themselves to go and drive forwards I don't that's the only criticism um uh, Liverpool's point of view and Klopp would be thinking that deep down because he's searching for that big win 1-0 is not that easy situation no. what he's hoping for it certainly would get very tense if it stayed like that Tottenham have been out for about 90 seconds I reckon Liverpool are finally on their way they're going to be playing towards where their fans are massed behind that goal when we're done here whether it's 90 minutes 120 pens whatever Robbie Savage is here and Steve Crossman with 6.06 so the lines will be open very very soon for that to get your calls in because the domestic season really will be over after this and then we'll be into the say, internationals sorry I must say as well I think you will see a reaction Tottenham have done this before you know this season oh, they're I'm quiet so they're quite yeah. harsh and, and then they, they come to life you know they some teams need a half time it sounds crazy but they need a half time it's like it gives them a shake you know the manager shakes and they shake each other I'll be very surprised if they don't come out cleaner with a bit more zip in their play and a bit more forcefulness in their, in their body language to go forward and attack the opposition and I would imagine John that Jurgen Klopp has said that to Liverpool that he would anticipate as Sean has says that Tottenham will come out with a little bit of oomph in this second half the whole game needs some oomph John it does yes it's been rather disappointing disjointed so far but Liverpool happy enough with the 1-0 lead that they hold from uh, Mo Salah's penalty in the second minute. So Tottenham will get the second half underway. No substitutions, no changes. So Tottenham as they were with Loris in goal, Trippier, Alderweireld, Fatongan and Rose, Sissoko and Winks, Eriksen, Ali, Son and Kane. Lucas Moura was watching him warm up during the half-time break in his green bib. And Liverpool with Alisson, Alexander-Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk and Robertson, Henderson, Fabinho, uh, Wijnaldum, Salah, Firmino and Mane. If I could just pull my head out the sand, you know, for one minute. Look at that scene, though. Look, now the lights on. Look at the darkness in the sky. The lights ringing around the stadium. Look at the, the sea of the, the shirts. Fantastic scene, I must say. It is really quite special on this warm, warm night. 
here in Madrid in the Metropolitano all red to our right all white to our left and red currently in the ascendancy because of that Salah penalty ball out of play for throw into Tottenham over on the far side which is taken back to Winks if Lucas Moura does come on who does make way Chris Sutton well you would think Harry Kane you know and, and this is we'll find out soon won't we how fit is Harry Kane you have to say he didn't get the service in the first half but are they missing that Moura zip Spurs haven't created anything and we, we know his dynamism can cause Liverpool problems Chris Sutton with us Sean Dyche with us Robbie Savage as well here come Tottenham with the ball on the right hand side Son Son up against Robertson onto his left foot uses his right gives it back to Trippier whose cross is deep to the back post Deli Alli oh, off balance tried to head it back across the area got it all wrong and Liverpool cleared there you go like I said changing the field of play sliding it in behind the back four of, of Liverpool getting a good delivery in and just asking a question really early in the second half with Son suddenly on the right yeah he started on the right this half tactical tweak maybe it was a poor header from Ali. good ball deep ball and Ali near the touchline Got it all wrong, the header, and it was cleared. There you go, yet again, Maurice kicking it, you know, changing the field. Loris up to Kane, Kane takes it down, drifts out to the left-hand side into the box, pulls it across, but in behind Deli Alley, and too far ahead of Son. He actually split the two of them, and the ball's out for a throw on the far side. Yeah, but we know from this European adventure for Tottenham, write them off, that's your peril. I was just going to say that to you. We're not writing them off yet, Chris. He I nicks everything. I'll tell you, he nicks everything apart from Robbie's gear. <laughs> <laughs> One nil Liverpool lead, and uh, this is BBC Radio live from Madrid, Five Live, the World Service, BBC London, and Radio Merseyside all together for this Champions League final of 2019. Fabinho stabbing the ball over the halfway line on the far side. Trippier gets it down, but there. One of those mistakes, an unforced error. Trippier just stabs it out of play on the far side and it's a throw into Liverpool inside their own half. I remember late 70s and early 80s, the European Cup final as it was then, was very often decided by just the one goal. In recent seasons though, we've seen some really special matches, full of goals, just the one so far in this one, and it has been, for large parts, rather scrappy. The ball at the back with Fatongan. Salah was uh, quickly onto it. Back it went to Loris, who cleared to the halfway line, comes back to Fatongan. He chests it down. Fatongan volleys it up towards the left hand side. Deli Ali can't keep that in. It's a throw. It seemed to panic, Fatongan did. What I will say, John, I can't see this with the nature of Mauricio Pochettino. I can't see this ending 1 0. I really can't no, be, I because eventually he will just go all in. Mm -hmm. I agree. As I he agree. did. As, in as he probably should. You know, you've got to chase, you know, if he has to chase it, not yet, but there comes a time he's got to chase it. I agree. Liverpool throw above Salah. So this time Alderweireld comes across and he just hooks it away out of play nearer the halfway line where Robertson will take the throw, where Alexander Arnold will take the throw, which he does. Firmino nods it back towards the halfway line. Alexander Arnold can't keep this in. Now it's a Liverpool series of errors and a Tottenham throw yeah and he would be the one player I think Liverpool player this first half uh, in the first half he looked very leggy Firmino did and I wonder whether Klopp is thinking about a change see even little things like this for me and I know look warm night everything considered but it's the Champions League speed the throw-ins up speed everything up you know if I'm talking go and speed the tempo of the game up get your team on the front foot sometimes it's just by doing them little details but doing them quicker Kane gets to the ball first in centre field and Vinaldum catches like his hand on the play. Hand on, sorry, John, hand on the play. Should hand on the play. Get you know, build a tempo. Free kick forward and left of the centre circle. Won by Kane. So Tottenham have this. Tottenham in the second half. Likewise, Liverpool attacking the ends where their own supporters are. So the Spurs fans are trying to suck this in. Trippier takes the free kick over the line. Son in the area lays it back. Shot from Fatongan was blocked by a Liverpool defender and the flag is up on the far side and it's a free kick to Liverpool who lead by one goal to nil yeah, one off the training ground Son I just wonder whether he went slightly early they're in a central position he does go early really sloppy from Spurs good line from Liverpool high line Liverpool take the the free kick 
and work it towards the halfway line. Pass from Firmino is over the head of Henderson and I'm afraid the pattern of the first half has continued into the second. This time an error from Firmino just to lift it out of play on the halfway line. Rose will take the throw in for Tottenham. Sissoko comes short. It was Sissoko who conceded the penalty after just 23 seconds, which was eventually taken and scored by Salah. Loris now long to the halfway line. This one's won by the head of Fabinho. Now Alexander-Arnold, he hits a long one down the right-hand side. This is for Salah to chase, but Fatongan was close to the Egyptian and was able to take the ball and play it away. Sissoko does well oh. under pressure. Sissoko plays it to Eriksen. Eriksen now making good ground, pulls the ball across square. Winks is in the edge of the penalty area. And then an important interception, an important block really from Robertson. And Liverpool are able to snuff out the danger. Well, we saw everything good about Sissoko there. Power and pace down the left-hand side. And the ball eventually gets out to Winks' right-hand side of the box. He tries to push it around Robertson, who defended it very, very well. Trippier there seeing the game open up for the first time, really driving into the box. You know, we see that from him a lot when he's really on song. He's, as you said, Sissoko's power, the pace to break it open, and then Trippier notices that and drives down the right-hand side of the field and nearly gets himself into a really, really good goal-scoring position. Robertson playing the ball right across the field, over the halfway line. And Alexander-Arnold now swirls a ball into the penalty area just beyond Salah. Firmino wasn't far away as well. It's Mane, actually, who reaches the ball and keeps it in on the far side. Mane stabs it into the box. Wijnaldum now back to Firmino on the left-hand side. Tottenham are back in position now. A dangerous ball from the oh. full-backs. Yeah, it's one to the other. Fabinho is going to shoot. It's deflected. Loris moves quickly to his left and is able to pat it down and has it back in his gloves. 1-0 Liverpool lead on 5 Live. We will have a 6-0-6 following the Champions League final, which will be hosted by Steve Crossman and Robbie Savage. And the lines will probably be open. 08 08 5 909 693. I'll let you know when they are. They must be open now, I would have thought. Anyway, I'll let you know. 85058. You can text now or you can get in touch. Social media. Hashtag BBC 606. Vinaldo plays the ball over the top now to Salah Salah in the area Salah shoots into the chest of Fatongan and the ball bounces out of the penalty area Salah still interested in this Sissoko Salah was able to touch it back towards Vinaldum and then Henderson to Fabinho Fabinho now to the left hand side Robertson has space here takes it on plays it in to the edge of the six yard box where Loris dives forward and makes an excellent catch at the feet of Mane oh that's outstanding goalkeeping it really is that ball from Robertson whipped in across the six yard line Lloris anticipated and clawed it, kept it away from Mane. Tottenham with the ball on the halfway line. Runners through the middle, Ali making a run and he's been found and chests it down and Ali with a chance, it's blocked, bounces out, actually came off the, the head of Harry Kane, he was stretching for it, Henderson, uh, Henderson's appealing for it, he thinks that Harry Kane has fouled Matip, who is very strong against Kane. Tottenham showing signs now, as we said, asking more questions. You know, I know Liverpool just got in a great decision. Tottenham now just working the back four all of a sudden of Liverpool. Tottenham with the ball inside their own half. Here's Eriksen, who plays it all the way back to Fatongan. Just having a little look here whether Liverpool might be thinking about a change. We've got Oxlade-Chamberlain. And Milner and Origi. Yeah, looks like Origi is going to be coming onto the field. Here's Rose on the left-hand side, Alexander-Arnold, that looked like a dive by Rose, I must say. Comes back to Eriksen, ball into the penalty area, that's cleared by Matip. Uh, and Danny Rose has stayed down after that challenge. He yeah. went down very theatrically. He did, I, I do think that there was contact. Rose shapes to whip the ball in left-footed from the... Oh, the touchline and his arm, his leg comes out, Alexander Arnold, and he, he <laughs> does go down and he stayed down. Got to be a foul, though. Got to be a foul. Well, he is still down on the pitch, Danny Rose, and um, is receiving treatment. So Tottenham nil, Liverpool one. Are you seeing signs of improvement for Tottenham? Well, they're pushing and they're probing. I mean, in an attacking sense. You know, they had to improve. But Pochettino's a gambler. You know, we know, we know with both managers, 
they, they brainwash their players into believing. We've seen it so many times this season. That's why you cannot rule this Spurs team out. They have the talent. This season they've shown they have their belief and belief in abundance. Danny Rose back on his feet. One of the five Englishmen in the Tottenham starting lineup today in this final between the two English clubs. Two Englishmen and a Scotsman in the Liverpool team. Tottenham, you know, Chris, actually played in the first all English European final back in 1972 against Ooh. Wolves. And how many players do you think there were on the field at the start who were from, uh, let's say, Britain or Ireland? Here's Son. Son getting away from Fabinho. Son now takes it on towards the edge of the box. He's going wide. He's being forced wide by Robertson. Still, Son turns and plays it into the shins of Robertson and wins a corner to Tottenham. Yeah, it's a good drive. More dynamic now. Yeah, more dynamic. You know, the Tottenham body language, the feel of it. They're, they're being more dynamic, more, like you say, risked, but in a calculated way. You know, getting their key players, getting turned, running at people, getting, in, getting better, better situations also. Much more life on the Tottenham side at, that, at this moment. Corner from the right flank. Alderweireld near the penalty spot. Harry Kane just in front of him, Fatongan behind Alderweireld. And here is the delivery now from the right. Alisson comes, gets a, a left hook to it. Out to Rose, who drives it in, comes off the legs of Salah and bounces away towards the corner flag and out for a corner for Spurs from the other side. I think it's the first thing Alisson has had to do with his hands and comes and punches. But Spurs just feel there's something in it for them now. Corner from the left this time, Rose to take this one, it's a deep one towards the back post and it's headed back across but comfortably over the top of the crossbar. Alisson was able to just watch it disappear over the top from Fatongan's header and it's a goal kick to Liverpool who lead 1-0. Yeah, there's an outswinger and Fatongan beyond the far post, he should just try and help that across. And he gets it wrong, goes over the bar but... Firmino coming off, he has looked leggy. Yeah, we wondered, didn't we? We wondered, you know, the, the same question mark of Kane, you know, going into game mode, Chris, you spoke about it yesterday, you spoke about it today, you know, centre forward, going into game mode, you're really on that sharp edge, you've really got that, that inner fitness that it takes to perform anyway, but particularly on nights like these. But you've got the, the young man to come on who scored two of the goals against Barcelona, which were, incidentally, his first ever goals in the Champions League and also scored the winner at Newcastle at the latter end of the Premier League season. So Firmino is off and Origi is on. Yeah, just when we thought that Liverpool were really stretched, you know, the main men out, Salah missing, Origi stood up on the big occasion. 1-0 Liverpool lead, BBC Radio 5 Live, got the boxing tonight as well, live from New York during the course of the night, three world title fights, Anthony Joshua top of the bill. That'll be around about 3.30. Henderson told. again there, you know, Henderson, the ball gets kicked out the key, drives across to shut the play down very, very quickly, you know, things that us managers love, you know, fans mm. don't always notice that, things that us managers love, he anticipates, drives across, endless, tireless work for them. It's had an excellent finish to the season, Jordan Henderson. Here's Alderweireld with the ball at the back, Alderweireld high and over the top, Van Dijk got up, got his head to it above the falling Harry Kane, and he's being able to direct it out to Robertson, but for once Robertson goes for a long pass downfield, which is way beyond Origi, and through to Loris. We've got half an hour to go. In that duel so far, Van Dijk, Kane, Van Dijk, it's colossal, he's bullying him at present. But he only needs one chance, one half chance, Harry Kane. Well, it's already been a good day for Van Dijk. Anthony Van Dijk won the derby. Trippier plays it forward towards Son but it's over his head and Van Dijk was able to clear it away Winks in the centre circle now Mane for the crossfield volley headed forward by Henderson Alderweireld headed it away heavy touch from Wijnaldum and that means Tottenham are back in possession urged on by their I can see some of them in the stands actually standing and jumping up and down urging Tottenham forward as uh, we move towards the last half hour of this Champions League final Winks Ericsson, back to Harry Winks. Still no immediate sign of the arrival of Lucas Moura, incidentally. 
Eriksen is able to play it forward to Son. First time touch, Ali back to Son, but that's blocked on the edge of the penalty area. Eriksen's got it back though, he's on his right foot. He shoots from the angle, it hits Van Dijk's ankles and bounces out to the far side. Tottenham still pressing from right to left. Eriksen's ball, low ball across, Deli Ali tried to, one of those flicks, he was running at pace, he tried to get it right. To, uh, to Son, but overheaded through for a goal kick. But you feel it's building some good link-up play in and around the edge of the box. Eriksen just choking on his shot much, again. Much more Tottenham-like. You know, the zip in the passing, the energy to the, the side. Feeling, like I said, they often get three around the D of the box, you know, to work in from that area, and then the wide men coming, or the full-backs coming on from there. You know, much more like Tottenham at the moment. James Milner's going to come on very shortly. I will say, without being in major trouble, Liverpool, I think they have got to just start finding some passages of play. Just control the game a little bit more in possession. You know, for yet again, teams of this quality, they have real quality. They're not just a counter attack side, we know that. Just find them passages of play and just absorb the game, not in a defensive way, with the ball. And the fact that Jurgen Klopp's made the two changes in a very short space of time probably tells you that he's thinking the same thing. Milner still waiting to come on, though. Ball in play. Thought that's strictly the arm of Henderson as he was challenged by Rose. And then Henderson is sort of hurled down by Rose as he was falling anyway. He's off the field. And so while it is out for a throw, it is Vine Alban who will uh, leave the field. Scorer of two of the goals against Barcelona. And Vine Alban will be replaced by James Milner. Yep, I and mean, he's worked hard. Vine Alban, such a big player, big goals against Barcelona but Milner I think that was the one decision really which Klopp had to make and he left James Milner out gets his opportunity now Mauricio Pochettino still yet to make a change and as I say as far as I can tell from here no immediate sign of one being made as uh, Tottenham concede a free kick on the halfway line for a foul on Matip we are now into the final 30 minutes of this Champions League final with Liverpool leading by one goal to nil I'm slightly surprised that he hasn't made a change we know in Ajax half time ruthless Lorente came on I know you know they were three down at that stage and he's, seen, he's seen signs though maybe he's seen signs he's seen H enough signs Henderson no, back to Origi Origi plays it round one side of Fatongan, but he won't reach that and the ball bounces away through for a goal kick Goal kick to Tottenham. I will tell you when the lines are open for 606, it won't be long to talk to Robbie Savage and Steve Crossman, who will also be co-presenting breakfast on Five Live in the morning from here in Madrid. He may even, if he really starts to think about going for it, Chris, I, I wonder whether he could take Sissoko out at all winks and then put um, Ali and Eriksson in there. You know, put more coming off a wide position to drive at people. You know, go for a very, very technical, you know, high-scoring sort of front unit I just hope to not get done on transition, obviously. Rose inside his own half, plays it through the legs of Alexander-Arnold, then Deli Ali's pass forward is beyond the run of Son. And actually, as well, Van Dijk came across Different and just dealt, Dijk. Dijk. Just, just dealt with it. Just dealt with it. Oh, he's a machine. Different class. Yeah. PFA Player of the Year, Premier League Player of the Year. Ball bouncing downfield for last year's Man of the Year, Salah, who uh, goes tumbling to the ground. Fatongan was right there with him. No free kick. Referee was back on the halfway line, but was adamant, and Fatongan wasn't impressed. Here's Sissoko in the centre circle. Sissoko, such a strong man. Fabinho is moving towards him, though, so he goes back into his own half. Winks is being put under pressure here by Henderson, and the ball will go all the way back through Alderweireld to goalkeeper Lloris. Liverpool leading 1-0. Now it's the Liverpool fans with the roar urging their team on. They know what's at stake. They know they're not far away. Here he comes, Chris. Lucas Moura has suddenly appeared. We can see his number 27 shirt down there as uh, Harry Kane concedes a free kick against Fabinho near the centre circle. So now is the time. Now is the time with 25 minutes of the final to go. Maurizio Pochettino, he called him a superhero in Amsterdam. He's got his hand around the, the back of his shoulders final instructions and Lucas Moura moves towards the halfway line question is whose number is going to go up and it is Harry Winks it is Harry Winks who will make way from central midfield there you go and there is a roll of the dice absolutely all in now he's going for it 
So who's going where now? Deli Ali drops back into a deeper one, position, one, probably. I think, it, I think Ericsson looks like he's yeah, dropping he a little there, bit deeper. Driving forward, Sissoko playing more like the one who has to do the work in front of the, the back four, particularly on turnover, of course, mainly in front of the two centre-halves, the two full-backs going on. I think they'll try and rotate a little bit. You know, Ericsson, he can do it in there, he can play from there, and he can definitely deliver from there, we know that. Yeah. That's what they did in Amsterdam, wasn't it, in the latter stages as well, when Ericsson orchestrated everything. Yeah, getting well, your technicians out there, getting your technicians in the middle of the pitch, which Tottenham are now beginning to get more bodies in from the middle of the pitch, which they do well when they're really playing well. Moura got his first touch, but it just bounced off him, and Liverpool have got it back, all in red, in the half to hour left. When Moura ran on, he, he spoke to Kane and he spoke to Son, and currently he's quite central, Moura. But it's Liverpool in possession, Mane... Now to the right-hand side, Alexander-Arnold arrives on the ball and plays it in, another one of those Alexander-Arnold balls curling at neck height and Alderweireld stooping had to head it behind for a corner to Liverpool. Number Alexander-Arnold, exocet on the right-hand side, his delivery is a Robinson. Yeah, they are, him and Robinson, they, their delivery asks questions all the time in the back four, you know, it really puts doubt in the back four's mind. And this time it is Alexander-Arnold who very precisely places the ball in the quadrant. Four strides back, plays it into the near post straight at Son, who's able to volley it straight out of play. And it was caught, actually, uh, by one of the substitutes down there who throws it back to Alexander-Arnold. Less than 25 minutes to go. Tottenham nil, Liverpool one. Long throw by Alexander-Arnold. That was the last ditch stretch by Fatongan. Otherwise, Milner might have been in along the dead ball line but he did get there the Belgian and cleared it out of play another Liverpool throw Alexander-Arnold plays it and that will just bounce away through for a goal kick so 1-0 Liverpool lead the very early goal from the penalty spot by Mohamed Salah 5 Live and the World Service BBC London so now it's settled really down a bit it looks time. like Mora coming you know just off the pocket in behind Kane Ali this side Son the other side still on the right hand side Lucas Sissoko coming, still trying to drive out of midfield with Eriksen now playing a deeper role when needed. Moura inside his own half in the centre circle. Trippier's pass forward though just bounces harmlessly out of play from a Liverpool point of view. Sissoko trying to reach it and Liverpool with the throw halfway inside their own half. See if you've got the legs up there, which you know, with, with particularly if, if Moura can drive forwards, you get Ali coming off the other side, Son coming off the side. You want Ericsson to get in the quarterback position. You want him to get turned, get his head up, and then he can find things, because he can find things. There's no two ways about it. He can find that killer pass. Mane for Liverpool, who's forced out wide, out towards the right-hand side here by Ericsson, who went with him. But then Mane sets off infield, goes past Ericsson, and then as Deli Ali comes in, gives it to... Uh, oh! Salah, who teed up Milner, who shot with a left foot from inside the D, was a foot wide of the foot of the post. And seeing James Milner's face, he thinks he should have scored. Brilliant from Mane. Surging run from left to right, and then he just chops inside Ericsson, who looks like, he, like he's towing a caravan. Can't get near him. He feeds the ball into Salah, who lays it back, and Milner, what, 17 yards out. Larice isn't stopping that. It goes inches past the left-hand post. That is the clearest chance of the second half. Oh, yeah. Just tried to feed it. Nice layback from Salah. And tried to feed Mane it. Yet again, post. Chris looking a threat. You know, like he does. He's electric when he gets on it. He can turn, he can drive at you, and he can play. He's a fine player. I mean, a brilliant, brilliant second half of the season, without doubt. Long ball over the top for Tottenham. Deli Elliott bounces back. And here is Harry Kane now, taking the ball to the corner of the penalty area. Out wide, Rose's ball in. Clearance from Matip strikes Milner inside the penalty area. The Tottenham fans are, are bellowing and pleading for a handball, but absolutely nothing doing. And Tottenham are able to play it all the way back to the other end, to Loris. Shaky, wasn't it, from Liverpool? Who missed the clearance? Was it Matip? Matip. Yeah. Look how open they are now. The two midfielders coming off in front of the two centre-halves, causing almost forming the box in front of the, the two centre-halves for Tottenham. The two full-backs now driving forwards, filling the middle of the pitch, particularly in an attacking sense, Tottenham now. Still, though, I make it that Alisson has not had a save to make. No, absolutely spot on. Yeah, they've still got to get in there with quality. And on the 
on the little stats board. I'll come back to that because Spurs play it down the right-hand no. side. Trippier oh. looking good, pulls the ball right across the penalty area. It reaches Rose in the other full-back position. Rose chips it across to the back post. Moura couldn't get there. Trippier's got the ball on the right, though. Trippier's cross is easily caught by a leaping Allison on the edge of his six-yard box. Well, they get in behind the Liverpool back line. Wonderful pass. And here's Salah. Alli- Allison has hit a raking ball downfield. Long downfield. Salah's caught up with it. Salah plays it across, takes a deflection. Mane! And then Alderweireld, just as Mane took the ball on and was about to shoot, Alderweireld whacked that out for the f- to the far side for a throw. Well, talk about the game opening up. Within the blink of an eye, Alisson releases Salah. One long ball in behind, gets to the byline, pokes it back. And Mane bursting into the box, just takes a heavy touch. A better touch and it would have been an easy finish end-to-end now. Trippier is... Like said, uh, it's like I said, can they capitalise on it? You know, Tottenham have got to ask them questions. That was twice there, full-back to full-back and then full-back to full-back from Tottenham. They're that high up the pitch now. They're yeah. opening up the pitch, but they've got to do that. Then they might get caught, obviously. With three Tottenham players on the ground, or two on the ground, Trippier looks as though he might have a problem with his left thigh, possibly. Sissoko was down, so was Rose. We've got a stoppage here, so the water bottles have been uh, produced in these very warm temperatures in Madrid. And um, Maurizio Pochettino and his me- medical staff, Jesus Perez is down there as well, one of his assistants, are just trying to monitor the situation. I think Trippier has signalled that he's OK. Throw in to Liverpool on the far side. Liverpool still leading by one goal to nil. Here's Origi on the left-hand side. Substitute Origi, it bounces off him, it's a throw in to Tottenham. And actually now the statistics show that Alisson, who's not had a save to make, is now the Liverpool player with most passes completed in the match. Ball back to Loris. Oh, he flicked it past Salah. That, that was so close to actually hitting Salah. It didn't, though. He got it away, the Tottenham goalkeeper. 1-0 Liverpool lead. They are less than 20 minutes away now, Liverpool, from a sixth European title. Fabinho playing the ball through the middle. Trippier is wide it. open there. I don't know why they're popping it into midfield. He's wide open. They've got to use that. They've got to get Rose on the ball. Trippier's so high now. He's almost playing like an, an absolute old-fashioned uh, winger. Lovely, lovely flick from Son. Kane gives it back to Son. Son now to Ali. Ali chips it in, but not with enough pace. And it is actually caught quite comfortably by the back-pedalling Allison in his six-yard box. It's so close down, but something's going to give eventually in this game. Lovely build-up play. Son and Kane involved, and then Son feeds the ball out to Deli Alley. Is inside the box on the left-hand side, 16 yards out. If you can see the idea, he's trying to lift it, bend it over Allison into the far corner. All he does is he loops it up. And do we call that a save? I was just going to ask you the same question. I think I'd probably call it a catch. Eric Dyer's going to come on, and it looks as though that's it for Sissoko. The Liverpool supporters. It's quite tense, this now, with just the one goal. It's not been the display of flowing football that we hoped for, but when you have a 1-0 match like this, when the stakes are so high, then you know that tension is going to come into it, and that's what we've got now. I wonder now, with Dyer coming on, by the way, I think that'll release Ericsson, possibly, if he chooses to do that, release him further forwards. We'll, We'll have to wait and see, but it may do. So another Englishman joins the fray for the all-English final. 1972, by the way, they were all British or Irish, all 22. Ball down the left-hand side for Liverpool. Milner takes it on, but that will be seen behind by Alderweireld. Milner slid in, but it is a goal kick for Tottenham. Urgency now for Spurs. 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes to play. Lines are open now for 606. 08085 909 693. Text 85058 or uh, get in touch, hashtag BBC606, to talk to Robbie Savage, who will have Steve Crossman alongside him here in Madrid for the phone-in tonight. Here's Danny Rose now, chesting the ball near the halfway line. Henderson with the challenge, but now Deli Ali for Spurs. Lucas Moura plays it across, but that's intercepted by Robertson. Took it away from Trippier, and now Liverpool coming forward. Robertson playing it to Salah. Salah just outside the box, gets it onto his left foot, chips it into the penalty area, headed away by Alderweireld. Origi challenging for it on the edge of the box with Dyer, and it bounces down. And Lucas Moura now to Deli Ali. 
Ali helps it forward through the middle to Son. Son running at the Liverpool defence, and then oh, in comes Van Dijk. Fantastic. With a wonderful challenge. He, well, the pace, I thought he'd gone. I thought fantastic. Son was past him. Son's driving at him, he gets a great foot in there. Corner taken quickly by Tottenham. On the left-hand side, here is Kane. Kane goes past Henderson on his left foot, drives it across to the near post. It's blocked. Back to Kane. Kane curls it in towards the back post. No one there for Tottenham. Van Dijk headed it away for Liverpool. Spurs now suddenly have upped the pace and pressure. Ball right across from right to left. Son takes it down, but the referee... I think a spot of a handball by Son as it bounced up and hit him and it's a free kick to Liverpool. Alexander-Arnold switched off, he got lucky. But what about that foot race, Son and Van Dijk? Do you know a Rolls what, Van, Royce for yeah. me, it's a Rolls Royce he for is. me, Van Dijk, absolutely. He's, he's, he's hit the, the afterburners there and he drives after Son. And just too powerful, too strong, too quick for him. Fantastic mm. defender. You know what, that, that little moment there that sums up Van Dijk's season and why he's received the awards that he has and think back to the game between them in the Premier League when Van Dijk had two against one Sissoko the way that he defended that and Sissoko hit it over the crossbar two pivotal moments in those two matches Van Dijk at the heart of it do you know what I bet what's his heat 30 degree heat I bet he hasn't even broken sweat I have we, we noticed that early in the play <laughs> Robertson Sends the ball forward. Loris comes out. Now here's Trippier on the right. The ball struck long. This is for Deli Ali to chase, but Allison's there on the edge of the area and takes a, a catch straight out of the Cricket World Cup. He took it, fingers up, right in front of his neck. Outstanding net. at the start position there from Allison. You know, like we all know he can make save, but his start position there is fantastic. Watching the play from afar, taking up a high position along the mm. box line. Reading the play, clutching out the air that, without that, no problem. That's the way the Aussies catch. That's the Aussie style, isn't it? Yeah, fingers up. But uh, I don't know about you, Sean. I think they, I think they've really changed the game. Edison and Allison. You know, we've seen, seen a different type of goalkeeping play from I think, the two. I of think them. goalkeeping has been morphing for the last probably certainly five, if not ten years. You know, the different way that we're looking at goalkeepers now, and they certainly encapsulate both of them. One nil to Liverpool. Tottenham nil. Liverpool one. We're entering the final stages now. 12 minutes to go, plus added time. Tottenham need to find something dramatic. They have done that once or twice this season in the Champions League. Here's Eriksen. Eriksen now to Rose on the left-hand side. Rose, Milner comes across. Lucas Moura comes short, but Rose goes back to Eriksen. Eriksen 10 yards inside the Liverpool half. Just flicks it across towards um, Alderweireld, who actually goes backwards to Lloris groans from the 16,000 plus Tottenham fans I wonder whether he's got to find a way of getting Laurenti on change the feel give you a different view of it give you a last little you know because playing in front of Liverpool at the moment a team that have only you know 22 goals they can see in a season in the Premier League they can do this they can find you know the way of defending out a game I just wonder whether there's got to be a different question to answer although Tottenham are looking way 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 more like themselves in my opinion Kane high high pass from the left out to the right Trippier's ball in he's headed up and over the top of the crossbar Deli Ali was under pressure from uh, Matip and could only under that pressure head it up and over I'll tell you what what a ball this is from Harry Kane left hand side big switch over Robertson the Liverpool left back Trippier good first touch and he lifts it towards the far post and Ali under pressure from Matip just can't get his neck muscles working and direct it on target 11 minutes to play Tottenham nil, Liverpool one, but Spurs are coming on stronger. Son now with Ali, back to Son. Son running directly at the Liverpool defence, but Van Dijk is there again. Turns, plays it up towards Origi in the centre circle. Origi couldn't find the angle pass to Salah. Alderweireld stepped across and plays it back to his goalkeeper. Spurs start again. It's got to be a little bit careful, Liverpool there. They almost left the three up there. You know, they've got to be careful with that. You know, Tottenham are advancing. Now's the time able to get them wild players working back, working diligently. We're taking your calls now. 08-08-5-909-693 on 5 Live for 606. Here's Son, 30 yards out. Shoots! Allison goes down to his right. Got a good sight on it. Palmed it away. Tottenham come again. Lucas Moore in the middle. Low shot saved down to his left by Allison. It was a bit of a toe poker by Lucas Moura. It lacked pace and it was saved. Yeah, but Spurs aren't Spursy anymore. 
Oh, Son, 30 yards out, hammers the shot. You'd expect Allison to save it. Right hand, strong hand, gets it away from Golan Mora. Just not sharp enough, didn't get the purchase on the shot. He saved well down to his left-hand side. So Liverpool still lead by one goal to nil. But Spurs are testing Liverpool now. And here comes Llorente. Llorente is being called forward. He has had the magic touch in the Champions League. Oh, lovely from Sonny, nutmeg Fabinho. And he shoots left-footed with no power at all. And it just rolls to Alisson, who can pick it up like a back pass. But he's just made now three saves in approximately 90 seconds, Alisson. Yeah, and fair play to Spurs, really giving it a go, pushing Liverpool back. Oh, and now Salah has forced Fatongan at the other end. Just to make the mistake, it was a back pass to Loris, but he put too much on it, and it's a corner to Liverpool. Yeah, Klopp, Klopp will Belgium. love that. Klopp will love that. Just a small mistake like that. Now it just gives him that, you know, couple of minutes, slow it down, calm the game down. Deli Ali off. Llorente on. Well, like I said, change the feel of it. You know, it's it's you're getting towards last knockings now. We know that. Can you change the feel? Can you ask different questions now? Kicked over the water bottle there, Deli Ali, in frustration. He's had Spurs two chances in the second half. One with the, the chip, the weak chip, and then the header over the top. Liverpool with the corner. Guess what? They're in no hurry to take it. With eight minutes left of the 90 of this Champions League final and Liverpool leading by the Salah penalty. Milner has placed the ball outside the quadrant and was going to take the corner and then had to step forward and replace it. Surely he didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> Milner with the corner to the near post. That's headed away by Son. Comes out to Salah, chests it down, lifts a ball over the top but straight to Son, who volleys it into the centre circle. Robertson's underneath that. Henderson. Henderson is able to get away from two men oh, and then. No. <laughs> Do we call that a shot? He volleyed it goalwards and it went out of place Tottenham 15 now yards much away. more urgent though. Look at Luis, get the hand on the, you know, change the tempo of the game. Keep changing the tempo. Looking much more like Tottenham than we know. Mauricio Pochettino has peeled off his black jacket and he's rolled up his sleeves. If anything told you about his mood and the way that Tottenham are approaching this now, that is it. 1-0 Liverpool lead, but Tottenham are finishing strongly. And Dyer. Now to Ericsson. They've got Ericsson to, to keep the right. working the ball wide. They've got to keep doing that and asking questions from crossing positions. High cross from Trippier. That's headed away by Alexander Arnold. Ben Milner in with a challenge. The ball's still in the box. Llorente, the referee, just waited to see well, what was going to happen there and he's brought it back for the Tottenham free kick after the challenge on him. And I think you see him he, check. he might be consulting VAR here about the nature of that challenge. That looked very, very close to me. Is he inside the box or outside? No, I think the contact is just. And it, when I say just, yeah, it's a penalty check, but it was outside of the penalty area. High foot from Milner on Rose. It's lucky Milner, very, very lucky. Free kick chance. And we have got less than seven minutes to play. Deadly from here, isn't he? Ericsson. It's that shape he needs to get that shape that we know he can do. Ask questions to get a touch or it misses everyone and goes in the corner. You can tell he loves the look of this as well, the way that he's bouncing around on the balls of his feet in his orange boots. No, I agree. He'll have it. So many of these in training, you know, practicing this shape, getting the delivery right, getting the pace on it. It's near the left corner of the box, just in the full back position. Two man wall. Salah looking over his shoulder at Allison. Ericsson waiting, one foot in front of the other. Liverpool leading 1-0 in the Champions League final. Time running out for Tottenham. Ericsson, the blonde-haired Dane, stares at the ball, comes up to it, whips it in, oh, and Alisson oh, diving oh, to his oh, left, pushed it away beyond the far post. Yeah, great pace on the ball, and Harry Kane, clever. I say clever, cute, he takes a risk, he pushes Robertson over. It's a good save from Alisson. Big hand round the post. Corner to Tottenham then from the right-hand side. We've got just over five minutes to play now. Harry Kane, just beyond the penalty spot. Corner being taken from the right flank. Runners to the near post, here's the delivery. Oh! And it's flicked goalwards and then over the top at the back post. Oh. What a chance. Oh, Son was standing just next to the post. 
and when it was nodded down to him offside offside the flag was up well I don't think he knew Son he was offside but what a miss he didn't know the ball knocked down into the floor and he must be two yards out and he heads it over but the correct call from the assistant Lucas Moura with the initial header and then uh, Son headed it over he was a yard out but the offside flag it would not have stood and now Liverpool up towards Salah who tried to turn with the ball but it just evaded him and ran through to Lloris it's interesting now Liverpool are making unforced errors all of a sudden you know, they're giving it away cheap they're making things like that where they should be you know, usually they contain that situation anxious nervy moments and we are now into the last five minutes Tottenham nil Liverpool won Liverpool chasing a sixth European Champions Cup or Champions League title Robertson down the left playing it in and Rose not sure of where Salah was actually just went down and chested it behind for a Liverpool corner do you know what I think he did the right thing if you're unsure take responsibility and put it out and Robertson again his crossing is so good I think he should have left it Rose take no chances so it's a corner for Liverpool from the right and um, Alderweireld I see is actually just off the field on the halfway line so Tottenham are having to defend this corner without one of their central defenders Milner is waiting to take it Tottenham for Tongan is trying to, to al persuade the referee to allow Alderweireld back onto the field and he is I think there was some blood there and he, I think he had to change his shirt and he is being allowed back onto the field, so they will be able to defend the corner with the full complement. Milner with the corner for Liverpool, who lead 1-0. Milner waiting to take this little false start. Then here he comes into the near post. Son got his head to it. Van Dijk swung a leg at it. It was blocked. Then a challenge on the edge of the box. Origi, left-footed shot. He scored! Origi makes it 2-0 to Liverpool. What an end to the season! for this young Belton he has come to the fore for Liverpool when it has really really mattered two goals against Barcelona remember the goal that he scored against Everton remember the goal that he scored against Newcastle well now Divock Origi surely has won the Champions League for Liverpool in Madrid 2-0 now, outstanding, Origi, super sub, Origi, transform this Liverpool team against Barcelona and again tonight, what a big player he's been, Spurs don't deal with the corner, Van Dijk has a go, and then the ball's poked out wide to him, and he takes a touch with his right foot, and left foot and hammers the ball across Lloris into the far corner, it's Liverpool's Champions League now, and Origi's the man. Deadly finish from the angle. 12, 13 yards. Precision inside the foot of the post. Divock Origi, as Milner is challenged. Rose got the ball as well. Rose swings it in, and it bounces off the chest of Llorente and wider than the near post for a corner, but 2-0. 2-0 with... 90 seconds of the 90 minutes left. And do, do you know what, haven't we? For, for the last couple of seasons, it's always been about Liverpool's front three. You know, could they rely on anybody else? What a big game player he's been. Got his chance, he's taken his chance. And Liverpool are going to make their final substitution of the 90 minutes. It's going to be Joe Gomez coming on to take over from Trent Alexander-Arnold as right back. And now we have Liverpool's celebrations. They are dancing in the stands. It is all red to our right. There is a red smoke bomb being released there, and that red smoke is drifting now towards the roof of the Metropolitano and out into the Spanish night. And Liverpool, actually, it's Sadio Mane who has left the field. So it was going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold. He came across and uh, received instructions and Sadio Mane is the player who leaves the field and Alexander-Arnold has gone forward with Gomez at right back and now the ball over the top at Salah in an offside position so it's a free kick 
on the edge of the box we have 15 seconds of the 90 minutes to play Liverpool scored in the second minute the Salah penalty and they scored in the 87th a one right at the start and one very near the end and five minutes of added time will be played but it's going to be five minutes of celebration unless Tottenham now we talk about Spurs digging deep Chris but this would top the lot if they were able to get themselves out of this hole you're going into the world of another miracle now though aren't you you're yeah. going into the world of you know things just dropping perfect for players things just maybe mistakes you know being, I mean it's obviously <laughs> staying the opposite massive massive ask now but we've seen miracles happen lately see if we see another well we saw it with the last kick in Amsterdam there's we a long one high it's not felt like that though. it's not felt like that does it you know to be fair to Liverpool they've contained it well we know they're a threat of set pieces we know they can make the other without being overly brilliant but Tottenham have built into the game second half but you always worry do they get something from the game Liverpool they've found ways of scoring goals all season they've found another way of scoring a goal there from a, a third phase of a set play Tottenham nil, Liverpool 2 lines are open for 6.06 Robbie Savage taking your calls with here comes Kane now on the left hand side Kane into the penalty area challenge comes in from Matip Kane goes down referee ignores it and well, it's cleared away he's king of the dives there Kane he shifts it and he throws himself to the floor he shouldn't be doing that 08 085 909 693 to talk to Robbie Savage Steve Crossman with 606 here in Madrid Matip actually under no particular pressure ball came across the penalty area steers it away behind for a corner to Tottenham Tottenham now time running out very very quickly we're in the second minute of five of added time Liverpool are leading 2-0 corner from the right Tottenham pack the penalty area here's the delivery in towards the near post and it's headed away and out for Liverpool out towards the left hand side Rose Rose does well he's on his right foot though he shoots low but Alisson's able to go down and smother the ball comfortably into his chest yeah and Alisson hasn't been overly tested tonight but what he has had to do he's done it very well smart save down to his right hand side listen to this noise it's a Liverpool noise here in Madrid. Tottenham's first Champions League final looks like it's headed, it's going to end in defeat. But here they come again. And now Son shoots from the angle and Alisson right goes side. down and scoops it with his left hand wide of the far post. They just they don't know when to give up Spurs. Good shift from Son, left hand side of the box. Left foot and arrows a shot going in towards that far corner. It's a good hand from Alisson. Yet another corner from the right-hand side for Tottenham. This one's headed away at the near post by Matip. Comes out for Spurs again. Rose, Rose drives it towards the edge of the box. Kane is there. Kane shoots left-footed, but this is straight at Alisson, who's now made a series of saves in the latter part of the second half. He's so good, isn't he, Harry Kane, at shifting the ball and getting a shot up. Gets good power, but straight into Alisson's midriff. And the Liverpool goalkeeper is just keeping the ball and now just delivers it away high downfield. That's beyond Salah, will bounce all the way through to Loris. We're in the fourth minute of added time. Just over 90 seconds to play. Tottenham have got to find two goals in 90 seconds to take it to extra time. And they won't like this because Moura is beaten to the ball by Henderson who clears it out of play on the halfway line. Jordan Henderson, who might very soon join the list of Liverpool's European Cup or Champions League winning captains. Loris, the Tottenham captain, downfield from him. That's headed down and away by Van Dijk. Now Son, Son 25 yards out, slipped the ball through Henderson's legs. Matip is there though and is able to turn and chip it out of play. We are now in the fifth minute of added time. Eric Dyer on the left, right-footed ball to the edge of the box, head height, nodded away by Fabinho. It's one back for Spurs on the halfway line, for Tongan forward, but that's straight to Fabinho, and Fabinho will just pass it forward to goal scorer Origi, to the other goal scorer Salah, and uh, he's not going to take it towards the corner flag, Salah, I thought he might do. He's going to give it back to Origi, who's going to chip it forward towards Salah, who won't reach that, and it bounces through for a goal kick. And we are into the last 30 seconds now, Chris Sutton. Yep, and all the Liverpool subs are on their feet. Yeah, they're all getting ready now. Jack you can see them in the technical area. Yeah, 
This is going to end the wait for Liverpool since their last trophy success back in 2012 when Kenny Dalglish's Liverpool won the League Cup. It's been a long, long wait for Jurgen Klopp, who's actually walking across now. And there goes the final whistle as Jurgen Klopp shakes hands with the beaten Maurizio Pochettino and Liverpool's players, all of them, race onto the field. Some of them can't believe it. It's the Liverpool players who've dropped to the turf. They've won the Champions League, their European champions, for the sixth time. It's been a long wait for Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool to find success. But they've got there in the end, and they've got there with the biggest trophy of all. Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool win the Champions League in Madrid. 2-0 against Tottenham. Yeah, and Jurgen Klopp conquers Europe. And he said on his arrival at Liverpool four years ago, he needed a trophy, and he's fulfilled this promise. He has them with the biggest trophy of them all, the Champions League. And go back a season, go back to Kiev, where they crumbled in Kiev. Klopp didn't allow them to feel sorry for themselves, didn't allow them to feel pity. He threw them out on the pitch this season. 97 points in the league. It wasn't good enough. They picked themselves up again. And I tell you what, in Madrid, famous for his bullfighting, Matador Klopp, he didn't just grab the ball by the horns, he ripped and wrenched the horns off and he's a champion. They're the conquistadors. You know, the biggest difference for me, just bringing a bit of calmness to it, is simply for me, Liverpool this season, they've found ways when they've not been as anywhere near as they could, as good as they can be to still win games. The tight games, the hard games, the one when it's not quite working for them. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic what they've delivered this season and deserved tonight overall. So Liverpool have won it, Tottenham in their first Champions League final, it's defeat. After all of their comebacks, they've fallen at the final hurdle and they're being consoled by their Liverpool counterparts. The final score here in the 2019 Champions League final, Tottenham nil, Liverpool 2. The Liverpool players jumping into each other's arms, Mane into the arms of the uh, of the coaching staff there. And of course, there's always the other side of the coin, Harry Kane staring vacantly up at the sky, swallowing hard, having a little think about what's happened in the last couple of hours while Mane and Firmino hug. And Liverpool have won it by two goals to nil, Sean Dyche after a performance which by their highest standards you probably wouldn't give them much more than I don't know what seven out of ten really no, I mean that's a, that's the thing you're looking you're looking at a team who you know been but they've been fantastic you know and, and it's hard to turn up on these occasions and slick it about and play with all the detail that you normally would do we, we spoke about it, the delay in the game uh, sorry the build-up to the game how that would affect sides I think both sides know they can play better without a doubt but we, de- we equally said you've got to find a way to win and I think that's been the biggest difference in Liverpool this season I really do the ugly games the hard games the tight games they've found a way to win them games and they've found a way to win it tonight and overall deservedly so uh, Pochettino and Henderson having a little cuddle there here Henderson has just gone up to Harry Kane of course they'll be joining up with England tomorrow or the day after tomorrow Sean, if I said to you, man of the match, I'd, I'd go for Van Dyke. Yeah, it's got to be Van Dyke for me. I mean, not I think just for that one Royce. moment, no, just no, the, no, his no. entire just, impact his on His control, that the way he's now becoming a leader. You know, I think he's added that to his game. He's affecting players around him now, not just with his his own performance, but his voice, his, his physical body language to affect what's around him. Absolute top, top player, turning at the top of his game after an absolutely top season. And he is human, Van Dyke. Tears on the final whistle he didn't sweat no. and of course that just that that one moment when it looked like son had got away from him and you're thinking one more touch left-footed shot and it's going towards the goal and here go the liverpool players running away to our right as if they're running towards the cop jumping up in the air because i've actually fun enough been celebrating almost in the other half but now they are running towards their fans behind the goal away to our right behind the goal in which divic or just hit that piercing left-footed shot with three minutes to go which was the one the, the almost the best quality of the game the Christmas of that finish sure 
you know, the, I think you're right. You know, I just had a sudden thought. I did unsung hero tonight for me. In, in that, you know, an awkward game tonight for different reasons. Jordan Henderson for me. And all the ugly stuff, all the hard work, all the hard yards that it takes to make a real team. He knows he's got quality around him. He knows they've got quality on transition. But he's found a way of being the glue that holds performances together at times, particularly on this run into this game. You know, I think he's been excellent tonight. But for, for the things that managers love, not always that fans admire. You'll, you'll get this bit, Sean. Um, Jurgen Klopp and uh, Dibok Origi having a really good hug. And he's whispering something in his ear, which is probably along the lines of thank you, thank the beep, thank you very much. No more conversations about how many finals I've lost. No more conversations about when is this team going to get over the line, Chris. They have been brilliant, Liverpool, this season and they thoroughly deserve something to show for it. But in a funny way, and the fans were telling us last night they wanted the Premier League so badly, almost more than this, but they've got the great European Cup instead for the sixth time. Do you know what? The truth is, in my opinion, under Jurgen Klopp, they've been brilliant for four years. They just haven't had the silverware. And people talk about the money which Liverpool have spent, but they've spent it on brilliant players haven't they Allison this season outstanding you know we, we speak about Van Dijk I'm just pleased for Klopp he's galvanised the club they've been so exciting exhilarating to watch and they deserved and Sean's right you know it, they've had a different way this season in many respects of grinding it out and winning ugly and being solid but they're a great team to watch and their great fan base deserve this night and they're going to enjoy this night long, long, long into the night. 6.06 is on the air when we've had the trophy presentation. And, of course, Robbie Savage and Steve Crossman will be in charge of that one this evening. Sean, how do you reflect upon how Tottenham played this evening? Which they certainly didn't freeze, think, but they didn't No, no, I think the first enough. half they Harry didn't find... Quite yeah, sharp enough. yeah, they didn't find the rhythm they do. They didn't find the crispness, the passing, the movement. It came as the game went on. We thought it would. I said, oh, I'd be surprised if it doesn't come at some point. They did ask more questions. They did put the, the, the Liverpool defence under pressure. But like I said, they're, they're 22 goals in the season they've conceded Liverpool. You know, they can contain games when they need to, and they did. We know they can find a chance. We know they can find a goal. They did. I mentioned about set pieces. I know it's the second, third phase set piece, but they've been strong with all of the basic details as well as the beautiful game that they sometimes play. Tottenham didn't quite find the highs they have done. We wonder where they could find them highs. I don't think they did tonight. But it is difficult. You're playing against one of the top sides in, in Europe and now the, the obvious winners of Europe in the Champions League in Liverpool. I think they've shown great guts and resolve and desire this season. The big question Spurs fans will be wanting to know now, though, is their manager going to stay? Well, I'm just thinking also of Lucas Moura in floods of tears there. Chris was there. I suppose there's a Deli Alley header, wasn't there? I'm trying to think. Wasn't one of those where you go, oh, they missed a glaring opportunity there. They didn't really create an absolute cast iron chance that if you were a Tottenham fan, you feel you should have taken. Truth is, the first half, they didn't do enough, didn't trouble Alisson. But in fairness, second half, they came out, they rejuvenated, they gave it a go, but wasn't anything clear-cut enough. Harry Kane didn't really get any chances. He was the one they had to feed and give him the opportunities. They were all saves you'd expect Alisson to make. But in fairness to Tottenham, you know, they gave it a go second half, but I think the better team won, the more efficient team won. Christian says, is there anyone in world football who likes a big game as much as Divock Origi? Not at the moment, Christian. Khaled, finally, the miserable record of Jurgen Klopp in finals has come to an end, and it's much deserved. And Prasana, both teams never really showed up, but Liverpool deserves something for the season. Stacey, no shame for Tottenham. What a remarkable year, but the difference was experience on European football's biggest stage. Cody, if you told me at the beginning of the season that Tottenham would have made it to the final, I would have, wouldn't have believed you. Couldn't be more proud. And Safid, Tottenham lost the moment Kane was in the lineup. Didn't show anything for 90 minutes. Poor waste of Mora's time. Did Van Dijk have Kane in his pocket, Sean? I think it's unfair, I really do. You're asking a lot of Hurricane. We mentioned it in the build-up. You know, I changed my opinion because he had two weeks full training because yesterday I said it's very difficult. Chris agreed with that. You know, centre forwards is a different thing. You want to go out there sharp on top of your game and that's very difficult to find even with someone as professional and as fit and looks over himself like Harry Kane. I think it's a big question to ask of him tonight to go out there and deliver. It still could have happened for him because he's got amazing quality and movement and cleverness, but still a lot to ask against an absolute Rolls-Royce of a centre-half. Personally, 
world's best at this current time in well certainly to my knowledge certainly Europe's best in, in, in uh, Van Dijk for me the stage uh, has been re-erected not the one that we had beforehand but a much smaller version uh, on the halfway line towards us John and th this is rather nice now because the presentations are done on the pitch it allows the winning team to very sportingly form a tunnel through which the losers are going to go and of course so many of them play for, with, with England for each other they know each other mm. so well there will be a lot there'll be a lot of commiserations as there have been already and a lot of good sportsmanship and actually it's been a very the whole build-up hasn't it Tottenham Liverpool there's been no trouble off the pitch on the pitch throughout the game you know backstabbing nasty words manager sniping it's been it's been no, a real out. good feel really yeah, good a real good feel real game. respectful feel yep, absolutely. All, all the good things that come out for all the right yeah. things that come out for all on the pitch off the pitch the build yeah. up the feel of it I've been fantastic to be here you know I, I do thank everyone here for inviting me because it's been brilliant to be and brilliant to be part of it well, it's been great to have you, Sean, as well, to watch this uh, this uh, all-English final, which Liverpool have won by two goals to nil. And now I think the players have had enough now, haven't they, John? You can see them, they're all a bit fed up now. They're ready to go. Trophy isn't, and the trophy presentation team have probably been stuck in a lift or something. <laughs> I was going to say as well, uh, you know, Gareth Southgate, who is here tonight, he will be relieved about what you say, because that was a little bit of a talking point, wasn't it, with, with all of the England players due to meet up uh, they're, they're due to, to meet at St George's Park on Tuesday, the players who are here tonight. And um, and uh, they'll be teammates and they'll be up against Van Dijk and Wijnaldum on Thursday night when we're in Gimmerange. But um, as well, talking about Van Dijk, you know, if there was a minute, a moment in that match as well, when it was 1-0, the Van Dijk challenge on Son, when it looked as though Son was in. You know, if there's a moment to encapsulate things, then then that's probably it for You're Van right. Dijk. Big players deliver big moments, and he's certainly capable of that. Well, it's Ian Rush who has been given the honour of stepping forward with the Champions League trophy, which already has its red ribbons on it. It's been a while since Istanbul in 2005, since those ribbons were on that trophy, but they're back on there again. Liverpool, England's most successful European club, winning the European Cup or the Champions League tonight for the sixth time. It's a ninth European trophy success in all. If you throw in the three times that they've won what is now the Europa League trophy, and the referee, Damia Scamina, is now coming up to receive his medals with the assistants. I suppose this being the first Champions League final when we've had VAR. Do the VAR officials, they not get medals as well? That's That'll well, come in time, well, maybe. How many of them are there? Many, are, are many, there? many of them, Chris. Are There's there? so many people out there, I'm not sure how many medals they'll be printing <laughs> or, or making, rather. Well, it's the Tottenham players who are now being called forward. I mean, the, the mammoth effort that they made in reaching this Champions League final, as Maurizio Pochettino it did say on a number of occasions but I think he's absolutely right to do so this is a club that hasn't signed a new player since January of last year two transfer windows without Moussa Dembele left in January they've had the delays to the building of their new stadium and the fact that they've had to compete with the outstanding Manchester City and Liverpool and ended up fourth in the Premier League but reaching the Champions League final however there'll still be that that great disappointment as the players Fernando Llorente, I see him receiving his medal now. And uh, Toby Alderweireld, a, a runner-up in the Champions League for the second time. There's no disguising the disappointment. No, and, and, you know, let's get it right. This will be a night that the Spurs players, they will never forget. This was their, you know, maybe for, for most of them, I'm pretty sure for most of them, this was their one shot they will get at the Champions League in a Spurs shirt and... They gave it a go, but on the night, just came up short. But there's a lot to admire about this Spurs team and the manager. On the night, just not good enough. Jan Vertonghen, stern-faced, receiving his medal from Alexander Seferin, the president of UEFA, who's just standing to the right of the European Cup, which is on a perspex plinth. Son Heung-min who was, was typical son, really, in the second half. He did create chances. And now we're going to see Jurgen Klopp step forward first for Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp, who uh, steps up onto the stage. John W. Henry is there from the Fenway Sports Group. He gives him a hug. 
and Jurgen Klopp just walked past the Champions League trophy and now there's a there's a fist bump from Klopp who's the first man onto the blue stage where they gather in front of the arch before the European Cup will be presented so he has joined the ranks of the Liverpool managers Jurgen Klopp who have led the team to become European Cup or Champions League winners Bob Paisley did it three times Joe Fagan Rafa Benitez the most recent until today when Jurgen Klopp who is now guaranteed to have his face on Liverpool banners forevermore inside Anfield and in the Cop and the Liverpool players one by one continue to come through Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain who recovered from injury in time to take a place on the bench having missed the Champions League last season Divock Origi has received his medal as well the man who scored the clinching goal still they come Alisson just walking past the trophy now he did make a series of saves during the course of the second half and only three more Liverpool players before Jordan Henderson waits at the end of the line Jordan Henderson who will become the latest Liverpool captain to lift that trophy and join Emlyn Hughes and Phil Thompson and Graeme Souness and Steven Gerrard Alexander Seferin reaches for the European Cup the Champions Cup the Champions League trophy is given to Jordan Henderson and he steps onto the podium and Liverpool are acclaimed in Madrid as the six times European champions but for the first time it is silverware under the management of Jurgen Klopp and you must say seeing them celebrate here on the stage as the ticker tape comes down it does feel like this is just the beginning for Klopp and Liverpool and as he himself might say boom oh John I thought you were going to say scenes no we can't have scenes twice terrific stuff John thank you very much indeed there go the fireworks and of course the other side of the coin the Tottenham players who have been to see their fans away to the left now trudge and that is the only verb that would accurately describe the nature of their walk trudge back towards us some of them actually stop to watch the Liverpool players celebrating before they'll disappear and you'll never walk alone gets going again right 606 is on the way with Robbie Savage and Steve Crossman a final word then Sean Dice that is the end of the domestic season we've still got England on five live of course in the Nations League this week it's time for everybody in uh, in uh, British domestic football to, to breathe and rest up and walk the dog and watch cricket and talk about other things. Do you know what the amazing thing is? Um, I think Jurgen Klopp will obviously enjoy the next few days, I'm sure of that. Might even have just a half a lager or two. Um, but I think after that, before you know it, his brain will be wearing, he'll be speaking to me, he'll be speaking to his staff and you just continually looking to move forward and I think he will do that. But I am absolutely sure... <laughs> Him, his staff, the Liverpool players, everyone involved with Liverpool, distant or here, will absolutely enjoy this and absolutely deserved because fantastic season from him, from his staff, from the players, the fans, everything about football uh, from Liverpool this season has been right and they've ended up with this magnificent night, magnificent stadium to take on the Champions League, to take home the Champions League, I should say. Sean, we'll have half a lager ourselves to, uh, to, to round off the evening and a busy day and to have enjoyed your company very much indeed and we will leave you at home wherever you are Tottenham or Liverpool family I'm sure some Tottenham fans because they've had such an astonishing run to the Champions League final but the Liverpool fans of course in particular we're going to get in touch with 6.06 now with Robbie Savage and with Steve Crossman Steve it's all yours